From the classroom straight to the volleyball court here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center sa napakagandang lungsod ng San Juan, it is time to continue their Heroes era here in NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game. Hatin sa inyo ng GMA Synergy at maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nanunood ngayon all over the world via GMA News TV International and to those watching online via gmanetwork.com and the NCA Philippines website on YouTube, Facebook, and of course, for all of the highlights and results, do follow GMA Sports PH. That's on Facebook and on X as well. Our match on this opening day to kick off what should be another exciting volleyball tournament? We have the Jose Rizal University Lady Bombers and the perpetual Lady Altas, one of the contenders for this year's tournament. Maraming salamat at mabuhay Pilipinas. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Anton Rojas. With me, of course, back on the call, Coach Hammer, Martin Antonio, and we would also like to welcome to the broadcast our courtside reporter, Hannah Arguelles, who was able to speak to both coaches and team captains and some of the players from both Perpetual and JRU. We will get to Hannah in just a bit. But Coach Hammer, panibagong season, mm -hmm. a new level of excitement, but more than anything, it's the development of the players that natin last season that we want to see dito sa season 99. Definitely, especially for the JRU Lady Headway Bombers na maraming nawala sa kanila na past two years na nakita natin they need to build up their squad. Samantalang ito namang Perpetual Lady Altas, they, they've they're virtually intact with their squad. Malakas sila, kaya nga they're one of the preseason favorites here in Season 99. Sinabi nga ni Coach Sandy Rieta sa akin, after they lost in the stepladder semifinals last season, after two weeks, they went right back to work. So halos walang pahinga, they are going for redemption dito sa Season 99. For Coach Mia Tioseco, this is her 10th season as the head coach of the JRU Lady Bombers. So, a lot of things to look forward to dito sa magkaparehong kubunan. But let's take a look at the tournament format because this is match day number one. Of course, our tournament format, top four teams will advance in a single, in the final four. Single round robin tayo dito. Every team will be facing each other once. And then in the final four, number one and number two seed will be twice to beat number two going up against number three and the first seed will go against the number four seed. Finals natin will be best of three, provided na matalo kung sino man na top seeds. But if there is a sweep, yung naka-sweep will be automatically seeded in the finals. And just like the past two seasons, meron tayong step ladder format, papasok sa finals. And it is important that we stress itong outright finals oh. berth kung makaka-sweep because that is what the Benilde Lady Blazers have done in the past two seasons here in the NCAA. Now we talk about the teams na magaharap ngayon ng JRU Lady Bombers. It was a tough season, 98 for them, as they only won one match, and that was against EAC, a five-set match. As I mentioned earlier, Mia Tioseco pa rin ang kanilang head coach. May Ruiz is now the team captain, graduating, playing in her final season. At ito yung mga key holdovers, gaya ni Yanyan, Alonya, and Malay Amante that we're so excited because they're playing in mm -hmm. their third year. Pero alam mo, Anton, ha, at least despite Sid Niegos moving forward, their best blocker in the squad, Riza Rose, who was also one of their main focal points sa kanilang mga atake, andyan dyan pa rin yung libero nila si Alonya, who was very impressive in her freshman year. Now yep. entering her third year, meron siyang dalawang taon na maganda yung inilalaro despite having an injury-prone season last year. Mula beach volleyball papunta sa season, ang dami niyang mga injuries. And in Dai Laurente, who is their setter for the past few seasons din na nakita natin, at least may stability. Ngayon ang hahanapin na lang nila saan manggagaling yung mga puntos. Two seasons ago, Dali Versosa, the Queen Bomber, led JRU 
to a third place finish. And one of the storylines this season is that she's back with the team mm -hmm. with a new role as an assistant coach ni Coach Mia Tioseco. Well, that's uh, experience for you. Again, alam naman natin dito sa NCAA, almost 100 years na tayo umuwi at umuwi <laughs> yung mga players natin. But if I was Coach Mia, I would rather see Dolly suiting up in the game dahil yung, yun yung kailangan nila eh. Somebody who can score, somebody that can provide offense, and magaling sumalo ng first ball. Yun yung mga aantabayanan natin dito sa JRU dahil uh, mabigat yung nawala nga sa kanila dalawang focal points ng kanilang atake. So, I want to see the Dolly Versosa effect sa mga spikers mm -hmm. ni Coach Mia. And of course, the improvement when it comes to floor defense. Let's go over to the other side and talk about the Perpetual Lady Alta's third season for Coach Sandy Rieta. Again, sabi na halos hindi sila nagpahinga. And he admitted to me that last season in the Step Ladder Semifinals, medyo na shock sila because moving from San Andres to Phil Oil, bigger venue, they were not ready for the moment but this time, they have the experience. Meron din kasing buelo yung LPU noon, coming off a knockout game in the 3 versus 4 against Mapua, going against them and then going straight to the finals, kaya lang nakabangga ng LPU ang Benilde, alam na natin anong naging story doon. But again, going back to this uh, Perpetual Lady Alta squad, loaded team. Yun ang masasabi natin. Lahat ng posisyon, meron sila. Janine Padwa lang ang nawala. Merong next lady up na yan. So, Coach Sandy, kumbaga, Infinity Stones yung kinokollect na nito. Kailangan na lang nito ng Women's Championship. Kaya, this might be one of their strongest squads to date. They have 10 holdovers, and I kind of agree with that. Among all the teams dito sa Season 99, Perpetual has the most intact lineup with players like MRD, Mary Rose Dapple, the reigning MVP. We can expect her to elevate her game. Shai Omipon, such an impressive rookie season mm -hmm. for her. Number three in scoring as a rookie is unheard of. So I'm expecting her to elevate her game as well. And then the best libero last season, si Marian Andal. So completo recado, eh. may opensa at may depensa itong perpetual Lady Altas. But ang pinaka-importante, second year setter nila. Yan ang magmamaneho ng kanilang sasakyan. Dahil pagka hindi, uh, hindi nakargahan yung mga palo nila, so aantabayan na natin yung how she would distribute that volleyball. Siyempre, ang pinag-uusapan ni Coach Hammer, Jasmine Sapin, mm -hmm. one of the tallest setters dito sa NCAA Season 99, 5'6". Fondly known as Min Min uh -oh. Sapin. Yun nga yung uh, naging question sa kanya in the final uh, four. Nang na, nagkaroon uh, ng uh, ball distribution problem against LPU. So antabayan na natin if that was a hard lesson to be learned from last season. And you know, one of the things that we also have to look forward to, ito mga bagong players, Coach Hammer, last year, one of the best rookie classes in women's volleyball. Oh. This season, it's still a question mark, but as you always say, their performance remains to be seen. Exactly. <laughs> All right, when we come back, si simula na po natin itong laban na to. It is Perpetual versus JRU as they begin their Heroes era here in Season 99 of the NCAA. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang nabang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series.
Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Seniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category. Nagpapatuloy ang ating live coverage ng NCAA Season 99. It is opening day here in the Women's Volleyball Tournament as you see the matchup between the two coaches, Coach Mia Tioseco. Congratulations to her. Bihira na magkaroon tayo ng coach who has lasted for a decade. And uh -huh. Coach Mika is in her, Coach Mia, excuse me, is in her 10th season as the head coach of the JRU Lady Bombers. On the other side, Coach Sandy Rieta in his third season. But he tells me that this is just like his second season. Dahil nung kanyang unang season, he only came in one or two months before the start of the tournament. Oh, napakahirap nun. Yeah, that was coming off the pandemic. Yeah. Kaya antabayan na natin. Kasi may build-up na siya eh. May programa ni Coach Sandy. Alam natin na gumana na yan in the juniors. Yep. Para sa junior alta. So, meron at meron na siyang pagkukuhanan ng blueprint. Kumbaga, papunta rito sa women's tournament. And they were there last season. Nagkataon lang na banderang kapos yung nangyari. So, I asked him before this match, because, uh, siyempre, ang daming players, 10 holdovers. I asked him, sino sa mga bago mong players ang dapat natin tutukan? And he told me that their backup setter, who could actually also be his first setter, Fifi Ariola, wearing jersey number six. Looking at her right now, in terms of her her body type, ayan o, parang batak sa laro eh. She, she does not look like somebody who is going to be thrown into the fire for the first time. She looks ready. <laughs> Alam mo, Anton, ah. Kaya kahit tignan mo sa kahit na anong event yung Perpendual Altas, nakita natin basketball, volleyball, sa track, lahat ng events, panay condition yung mga player nila. Kaya hindi ka na magugulat. Pa, meron silang prototype eh. Kumukuha sila ng mga athletes. Nakita natin yan dun sa mga naglalaro sa kanila for the longest time. Even in the men's volleyball team, pare-pareha sila ng pick. Athletic, lanky players. And we are looking at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center dito sa lungsod ng San Juan. I miss this atmosphere, you oh. know, the Tara Flex. We're in volleyball season yep. right now. Last time we were here, we were doing the juniors basketball finals. Excellent atmosphere for the Perpetualites. They made it to the finals. And now, ito naman, it's the ladies' turn to show what they can do dito sa harap ng ating mga NCA fans. And with that uh, student body to support them all throughout the tournament, talagang, uh, I think this would be the year for uh, the Altas to really stump their class. And you know what? You you can't be wrong with that statement because as you always say, if you want to be the man, you, you have, have to beat, beat the man. The man. You like it. Dito uh, lady. All right, let's <laughs> turn it over to the venue announcer para makilala ang mga starters dito sa Perpetual at JRU. Presenting our game officials for this match. First referee, Darius Caganda. Second referee, Spin Kabusa. The action continues here at Phil Oil Echo Oil Flying V Center. This match is number two between Jose Rizal University and Lady Bombers versus the University of Perpetual Health System Delta Lady Alta. This is the NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game. Live now on GTV Worldwide, sa pamagitan ng GMA Pinoy TV at GMA News TV International. At my live streaming pod at gmanetwork.com, NCAA Philippines website, YouTube at Facebook with NCAA updates, highlights and results on GMA Integrated News.
Now let us meet the starters of both team. First off, Jose Rizal University Lady Bombers. Team captain at number one, opposite spiker, May Ruiz. Opposite spiker, number three, Karila Hasareno. Opposite hitter, Kyla Iguera. Setter number 12, Jerry Laurente. Middle blocker number 16, Gil Batara. Another middle blocker number 17, Pat Del Pilar. Sunny Libero at number 5, Marian Alonia. Head coach of the Lady Bombers, Mia Chiseco. And now for the starters of University of Perpetual Help System Delta, Lady Altas. First up, team captain, middle blocker at number 15, Razel Altea. Opposite, opposite header at number one, Mary Rose Stockholm. Middle blocker number three, Winnie Bentania. Outside spiker, Shyla Omipoy. Outside hitter, number nine, Charmaine Ocado. Setter, number 16, Jasmine Sape. Sunny Libero, John Denise Lozano. Head coach of the Lady Altas, Sandy Rieta. So my first thought when I was listening to the player introductions ng Perpetual, one word, all caps, LAKAS. Kala ko, OMG. <laughs> what statement? <laughs> De, pero, loaded, loaded sila eh, loaded. And uh, we know that when you're playing college sports, paulit-ulit ako eh, na sinasabi to, pagka school-based, pagka mas matanda at mas veterano yung players mo at mas matagal magkakasama, usually, you have an advantage in any sport. Pero ito, Coach Hammer, ah. Early surprise also for Coach Sandy Rieta. Marian Andal, who was last year's best Nivero as a rookie, is coming off the bench. Ang stinart niya, number 17, Jody Lozano. First received, napunta kay MRD, the MVP, and the first point for Perpetual. Of speed hit, or I think that was uh, Shai Mukon. Medyo nagbago kasi yung angle natin ng uh, vantage point. Nasa floor seats na tayo ulit, Anton. Mas, mas preferred mo ba ito? Baka yung mga cut shot na <laughs> Yeah, I actually uh, like this vantage point. Uh -huh. Lalo na if we're covering the team right now where JRU is. As we see, the new team captain, May Ruiz from the opposite side, pounding it off the hands of the blockers. Much is uh, expected now from May Ruiz because she is leading a very young squad talking about the heavy bombers ang bata nitong team na to and I asked coach Mia why did you choose May Ruiz as the team captain sabi niya because of her work ethic and her leadership in the locker room as it should good up cross court in die to Ruiz down the line hit does not work. Omipon was there. That's a check. And Okado breaks down the wall. Hindi ganun kapino yung blocking dito ng JRU you would see on this replay. Now on this shift, you know, mabukas yung play. Gitna instead of closing that window. Hands together, sweeping it on the net. I like how Min Min Sapin is, is not tossing the ball right away to... Mary Rose Dappel, but you know the Narating points are gonna come. MVP. <laughs> I mean, if I was coaching and you don't bring it to the MVP, matinding film session yun sa susunod. If you were coaching volleyball, I would be very afraid. That's why I don't. But dun sa preparation side po pwede, but on the tactical side, alam mo naman ako pag mga tactical side. Yeah, yeah stick to the strength sport. and conditioning, yes, exactly. Coach Hammer. <laughs> Del Pilar. Wow, okay. Surprising. Okay. On that uh, 
I think we have our Him. first player to watch sa mga bago. She's a transferee. Itong si Pat Del Pilar. Has length and uh, could gain a little bit more power as she adds more a little bit muscle on that frame. Because it's matangkad, mahaba. And that's a good sign, mm -hmm. knowing that JRU lost their captain and best middle blocker in Sid Niegos. And one of the more prolific scorers of their roster. There's the MVP, Mary Rose Dapol. I asked Coach Sandy Rieta, anong bago kay Daps? Sabi niya, may gulang na si MRD. Last season, he felt that it was all power, puro lakas. Ngayon, she added that gulang factor. So nakita mo kanina, yun nga, right on cue of speed hit. Just using the pectus of Palo. But she can always go back to what she's been known for. The power of the MVP, Mary Rose Dapol, soaring and scoring for the perpetual Lady Altas. So again, the blocking of Jerry, which is understandable for a very young squad. Nakikita natin, dahil they are tossed into the action right away. But Last again, season, JRU was number four in blocking, coach. Mechanics, eh. Mechanics lang yan. And as you get through reps, that's when you would improve it. Betanya, quick attack does not work. The block blockers were there for the Lady Altas. Casareno, popped up. Babalik ang bola sa JRU. Laurente, setting it up for Casareno again, avoiding the blockers. Almost, almost. A few inches ahead, yung palo. And, uh, is there getting a point? You know, sa haba ng rally na yun, I got to see yung discarte ni Hasareno, and I think that's the Dolly Versosa effect. Na Should be? She changes up the way she spikes uh -oh. the volleyball. Wow. Winnie Bedanya. Showing some improved power right away, Coach Hammer. And ball control, ah. ball control on this hit. Because last season, we saw that they had a lot of power. But right now, going into that sweet spot, if you're a right-handed hitter, you're more comfortable on the left side of that Taraflex. It's better for the arm action. Yeah, 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 it's better for the not only was she the first best outside spiker, she was also the best server. Oh, even though walang best server award, as uh, the NCA has changed the names of the awards and they don't include the best server anymore, she was the best server as she tallied 32 service aces last year. Mm -hmm. All right, Perpetual is off to a strong start as expected. And when we come back, Hannah Arguelles will give us her first report, don't go away. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat... At nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Live here on GTV. As a new volleyball season comes along, new versions of these two competing teams ang makikita natin ngayon. The JRU Lady Bombers versus the Perpetual Lady Altas. At nang makausap ko nga ang head coaches ng dalawang team na ito, they had much to say on their journey coming into Season 99. For Coach Mia Chosego of the Lady Bombers, she acknowledged how they placed 8th last season ayon sa kanya dahil ito sa lack of mental maturity which led to difficulty in finishing and winning games. Ngunit i-expect daw natin ngayon Season 99 ay isang mas resilient at mas matapang na JRU Lady Bombers. Para naman kay Coach Sandy Rieta ng Lady Altas, naging learning lesson daw sa kanya. Blazing second last season na dapat ay di makampante at di mawawala ang uhaw na manalo. Kaya expect daw a Lady Altas playing with more heart. Ayon nga sa kanila maglaro na may pusong perpetual. Kaya tingnan natin, puso laban sa tapa. Sino ang magwawag? Anton and Coach Hammer? Thank you very much, Hannah, for that very thorough report. Speaking to both coaches, dadagdag ko lang, Coach Andrieta, Ano yung nag-improve? Experience, maturity, and what Hannah mentioned, 
yung tapang ng mga players. Oo. Oh. Kailangan na kailangan yun. Lalo na nung nagdidikdikan na in the Final Four last season, yung knockout game niya against LPU. Yeah. Sa dulo nagkatalo eh. Yung, ano yun, may mga teams na nanalo, gusto nila. Pero yung mga pumapasok na game, mga gustong gusto, yung nakikipagpipita na. You know, when I was watching that match, you Perpetual and LPU, Perpetual did not look like themselves, oh, Coach. Oo, parang siya shock. Yeah. And aminado naman si Coach Sandy na na-shock sila sa pagbabago ng venue, the, the atmosphere, sa bigger dami stage. Ng, sa dami nang nanonood. Oh, Hasarero getting a lot of attempts early on. And there she is again. Hasarero. Wow, I, I like the adjustment and how she was able to get an attack to go. And, Pati si Sophomore, Shai Umipon, may gulang na rin. Kasi si Shai Umipon last season, talagang lahat ng palo, kargado lang eh. But now, nakita natin yung variety of hits na ginagawa nila. Arami nilang off-speed attacks. Nakakuha na sila ng apat na puntos coming off off-speed hits. Shai Umipon as a rookie, Coach Hammer, was averaging 17 points per match. Manipis. <laughs> Manipis na production. For a rookie, ah. Coach Mia Tioseco, you hear her first huddle dito sa ating panibagong season, a multi-sport athlete during her heyday, volleyball and basketball, mm -hmm. Coach Hammer. Parang ikaw, basketball and golf? <laughs> Yung golf, trying Lux. lang. Trying lang. Yeah. <laughs> Parang ganda. Substitution for JLB. Number four out. Number eight, Nicole Bialaen. We have a substitution here. Still on deck to serve. And that excites me because I always want to see the development of players. So we have Nicole Deala. At Palo agad para kay Nicole. She's a lefty. But uh, interesting na binigyan agad siya. Yep. Kasi, alam mo Antonia, total unknown itong roster yun ng JRU. They lost a lot of players. They shuffled their roster. And by the looks of it, very youthful. I can't stress it enough. They are a very youthful squad. Yeah, medyo steep ang learning curve ng uh, team na to. But uh, if there is a coach for that job, Seven that's Coach the Mia. Spot, Del, Pilar. Del Pilar. So you have two new players on the floor for JRU. As you were just stressing, a very young squad. Del Pilar and Deala. Omipon. And Omipon gets another point. Nice communication right there on the... Check that on the dig. Good play. The name. What I want to know dito sa Perpetual is, kasi alam na natin yung production na magagaling kay Aldea, kay MRD, and of course kay Shai Umipon. I want to know who will step up to try to support the usual scores? Alam mo, Antonia, when, when, when it comes to volleyball, you get four points from player A, another four points from player B. It compounds itself. But the most, ako, lagi kong una kong tinitignan is the libero and the setter. Yung connection na yun. Kasi yung palo, yung ensayo na yan. Eh. Pag nabigyan ka ng magandang bola, gagawa at gagawa ka na ng paraan para makakuha ng puntos. Eh. A joust at the top. Very busy, Patara. Hey, I like what she showed during yep. that rally. A lot of uh, work right at the net. Partito kay Patara. Look at her focus. Look at the timing. Kray Patara. Look at the body language. Yeah, and you love to see it. If you're Sid Negos, you should be proud of Batara and Del Pilar for what they have been showing so far. Yun lang. So, Mobra yung serve ni Cherry Dayami. Okay, okay naman yung mga nasa bench ng uh, JRU. Kasi nasa likod may MVP, may Shola Alvarez. <laughs> Nanatunod sa bench nila. Could, could have used more talent like that. An 11-point lead for Perpetual as we head to this technical timeout.
Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa Women's 59 Kilogram Event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Nakabu Coach Sandy Rieta. Third season as the head coach of the Perpetual Lady Altas but second full off-season. Halos di daw sila nagpahinga, Coach Hammer. Eyes on the prize. Yeah. Very important, especially for build-ups and championship campaigns, yung sakripisyo to really put in the time. Sila yung bata na team last year na may mga veterano to stabilize their squad. Pero ngayon, mas veterano na sila hoping that they would take that gigantic leap going to the finals. Wow. So the new girls from the JRU Lady Bombers showing some power. This is Shanine Preta. Wow. You, lo you love to see it. Six new players. Ginagamit agad ni Coach Mia Tioseco. And they're delivering so far. Yep. Hindi mo makikita kung diamonds talaga. Hagis mo agad sa apoy. Trial by fire agad. Para makita mo if they would uh, fight or fold. Die. Quick attack for Preta. Okado. Laurente. Kanina siya pupunta. Preta avoiding the blockers. Not over. A little bit uh, behind yung set na yun for sa Tocado. Tocado. Oh, Tocado. On this... Uh, I'm starting to see that Sapin is trying to activate Okado. I, I would say majority of the sets have gone to her. Silang dalawa ni Umipon. Pang third and fourth set yung Dapol. Kasi nangyari yung kalo. Yun lang. First touch ng Gigel. Si Kapitana. That's two straight points for the Lady Bombers. I think Aldea will be a crucial component also for Perpetual this season. Exactly, exactly. We, we've been hyping her since season 97, and we really want to see her excel. Dahil may PSA, Athletic Matangkad. Dapol, when in doubt, you go to her. You go to the MVP. Ready, Mark, on that hit. If Razelle Aldea can level up her game to that of a Mitch Gamit. Perpetual will pose a problem to all teams. But of course, everybody's gunning for the Benil Lady Blazers. And you need Aldea when you're going up against those tall ladies. I just saw Regina Rocha walk into the venue. Arellano's not playing today, but uh, Regina's here. It was good to see uh, one of the NCAA women's volleyball greats come in and take in a, take in a match. Three or two? The champion. I hate it when you do this, Coach Hammer, because, you know, I don't have my notes with me all the time. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't want to guess, my friend. But uh, let's take a look at this combination play. Mary Rose Dapol putting it away. Ito na yung inaabangan ko. Sabi ni Coach Sandy, minsan... Pwede niyang going first setter si Fifi Ariola, rookie. There she is. I want to see how different her setting style is as compared to Sapin's. When we get to see it for the Good first hit. time. Good hit. One of the more impressive attacks here in the first set for the Jerry Lady Bombers. Laurente placing that volleyball right on the sweet spot. 
cut shot and uh, uh, maximizing that space. Cherry Dayame, the lefty. Kanina, kakapasok lang. First ball, first toss, napunta sa kanya. Oh! Okay. Miscommunication. That's a ball for Georgie. Probably some opening yep. match jitters for the rookie, Fifi Ariola. Just the hardest game to play, Antona. I remember the I, first I had, one. I had a few opening game days. <laughs> Where you drank too much pre workout. I know, man. I, know. <laughs> I, I remember playing against JRU in one opening game. Played around 18 minutes, fouled out. <laughs> Four of them offensive fouls. Too much energy. Oh, tato. Jitters. Eh. That ball. Wow. Okay ito, ah. Okay itong uh, Dayami, Preta, and Dihala. Meron, ah. Meron silang... Uh, they have pieces. They have pieces. You know who's also a bit good? Jody Lozano. The libero of Perpetua. Who that's started she, in the place that, of Adda. That's why she has minutes. But yeah, the, the young ones of JRU are showing a lot of spirit. Uh-huh. And that's what you want. You want them to be competitive. You want them to be... Uh, you want them there. Dalin mo lang sa 12 rounds. Pagka dumating ka sa 12 rounds, anybody's ball game na yan. Naalala ko tuloy si Inigo eh. Ibrit natin yan. Bata natin yan. Sa Juniors Basketball, Inigo Torres. Let's take a look at... This spike right here, first excellent setup job by Fifi Ariola. That's got to feel good for the rookie. So, lapit lang naman eh. So, unahan natin. Iniintay mong kalukin bago ka mag-move. Hindi, unahan mo para naka-establish yung block natin. Ayos tayo, okay? Tara, tara, tara. One of the things I was also wondering about, being that this is the 10th season of Coach Mia, as we see Shola Alvarez, uh, former MVP, and Queen Bomber as well. Kung magbabago ba yung coaching approach ni Coach Mia, is she gonna be more strict? But it, it's still the usual calming, soothing voice of Coach Mia Joseco. May mga calm na strict. Let's put it that way. Wow. The rookie libero, Ray and Lalo Isim. You won't see that in the stat sheet, but she got the point. Yep, a point is a point. They would take it. They would take it. <laughs> yung mga rookies yung pumupuntos ha, sa JRU. Wala kang pagkukuha na ng puntos. Ito yung bagong team to, Anton. They're built on rookies and sophomores. That's the majority of their squad. If I'm working on top of my head, siguro mga 70% ng team na to. Back row. One of the first we've seen in this match. Omnitron! The wind-up! That we have seen far too often since her rookie year and her rookie of the year campaign last season. But more than the usual spike na nakita natin all throughout season 98, as we see, the senior vice president and head of GMA Integrated News, Regional TV, and Synergy, our boss, Sir Oliver Victor P. Amoroso. Yep. In attendance on opening day, besides Sir Paul. Oh, Sir Paul Supa and our... Chairman for season 99 of the NCAA. I uh, fondly remember, actually, I have a picture of it. Uh, nung the final four for the very first time on JRU, that was during the time of Shola Alvarez. Sir Paul was so happy because as, as long as he's been with JRU, he got the final four. Yep. And Lady Bombers, but because of Shola and because of Dolly, the two most popular names. In JRU women's volleyball history, the final four is the final four. Good floor defense by the Lady Altas, which is their trademark since last season. Magaling control, 
Magaling dumig at mag-receive itong team ni Coach Sally Rieta. And uh, that's why they're able to get into their offense right away na ma-maximize nila yung athleticism nila. Ipon, Ipapol, and hopefully ni Aldea. But their backline defense is superb. Number three in digging and number one in receiving are the perpetual Lady Altas. Pinaka-importante. Omipon giving up a rare free ball to JRU. Laurente, set was too high. Omipon, down the line, Dayami was there. Oh, there for the one, two. Okay. Good read by Inday Laurente. Medyo mahaba yung rally natin. A lot of uh, long hits. But right there, getting into that middle. Yan din yung isa sa mga na-miss ko eh. Yung craftiness ng ating mga setters as we see Sir Melchor Divina, Mancom representative for Mapua University. More plays, ha? more variety in the plays for Omipon, Coach Hammer. Dating eh, kanggado lang yan. Either opposite o open lang, papalo at papalo. Hey. Oh, Batara surprise. I also thought that was a clean block. But uh, I love how she is, is fighting and uh, putting up a good stance para sa JRU Lady Bombers, but one of the contenders for the championship this season, the Perpetual Lady Altas, validating the hype and the storyline when it comes to them dito sa season 99. First set goes to them 25 to 14. We'll be back for set number two. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Seniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. 24 minutes. That was the set duration, the time it took for the Lady Altas to get their first set victory dito sa ating panibagong season, season 99. At maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon as we take a look at some of the highlights of that opening set. Para sa'yo, Coach Hammer, what impressed you the most? Number one that impressed me the most is the consistency of the floor defense ng Lady Altas. Nakita natin, uh, I can't stress it enough. If you can control that first ball, if you can withstand the attacks from the back line, maganda ang itatakbo mo dahil meron kang setter na marunong mag-distribute ng bola. That's number one. Sa kabila naman, number two on JRU, hindi sila takot laban yung mga bata. So that's a very good indication that no matter who are they competing against, they're ready to play and uh, they would take the bumps and bruises along the road but they would keep on keeping on dito sa larong to. And Cray Batara, the middle blocker for JRU wearing jersey number 16. You love to see the fight na kanyang pinapakita. Oh, at saka siya lang yung matangkad nila. Siya lang halos yung matangkad nila nakikipagpakbakan. Siya at si Del Pilar. Oh, pero Actually, two, two very tall middle blockers coach Hammer. So, saka link. Mahaba yung link. And, and two fighters as well. Let's take a look at the numbers right here. So if you're gonna nitpick Dito sa Perpetual Lady Altas, you gotta limit yep. the errors. Unforced errors. May malaking circle yan pag nakuha ni Coach Sandy tong kanilang scorecard when it comes to that first set. Walong puntos yung ibinigay mo eh. If you can limit that to 50%, it would have been a 20 minutes. set. Yan ang tinitignan ng mga coaches eh. Kasi you want to get in and out like takeout. Mabilis ka lang dapat dyan pagka mga kaya mo yung teams. You have to take care of business right away. 
And we are underway here in set number two. Maraming salamat sa inyong pananood at Tom Ross alongside Coach Hammer, Mark and Antonio. And working the sidelines at court side, we have Hannah Arguelles. You know, we have been raving about the young middle blockers. And yun nga, no more Sid Niego's biggest loss for JRU this season, but uh, these girls making her proud. Laban yung bata. Laban, ha? Tsaka mataas yung work rate niya. Kanina nabanggit natin na siya talaga yung suma-challenge and moving side to side. And finally, the team captain, Rachel Aldea. Getting a quick attack to go. Ang buntong hininga sa parang sa wakas. Pumasok din. Kasi nanggigigil siya eh. Nakita natin first two middle, first two quick sets na binigay sa kanya nag-error. So Aldea, second straight season as the team captain of the Lady Altas. And an ace by Shai Omipon. Now, I think if there's one area for improvement para kay Shai, it's her service. Last season, out of her 153 points, labing dalawa lang yung service points, service aces. What more if she can really add a layer? to her uh, offensive arsenal. Because the game ni Umipon is uh, really built on power. Power player, power hitter. Siya. Parang kahit kargahan mo ng tatlong blocker, babasagin at babasagin niya. She would try. Nabanggit niya ni Coach Sandy that she is trying to improve on her game. She wants to be more finesse. Be a little bit more finesse on her game. And it would affect, syempre, yung mga pagpalong niya sa service. Magta-translate yan. Sapin activating Aldea dito sa pagsisimula ng set number two. Dapol down the line. Coverage is there. Omipon was there. Dapol again. Okay, that's good floor defense and net defense as well for the JRU Lady Bombers. One of the longest rallies of the match. Uh, they are able to put the ball up despite the pressure being applied by Dapol. Yep. And in that rally, uh, Dapol had three attacks that they were able to contain. But again, an error on their attack gives a point to the Lady Altas. One of the things that I'm noticing all this also said JRU, remember when uh, Alonya was playing heavy, heavy minutes. Oh. Now, my rotation siya. Sinandarawa ni Lalong Isim, the rookie. Sige, sige. Si Alonya, putok na yung kilay. Naglalaro pa the, maglalaro pa the following game. I remember that. Na, kaya, battle din Bruce din. <laughs> Talaga siya season 19. Remember, we would watch her sa beach volleyball and, and like, yung cuts niya, kitang-kita sa sun. Oh. One of the most conditioned players that we've seen dito sa NCAA. Palitan eh. Pag hindi kasi makondition eh, huwag ko na lang. Dodanya. The thing. Ah, double pass. Double pass on the side of the Lady Altus. Point goes to the Lady Bombers. Nicole De Alla. The lefty. Let's see her serve. It's a floater of a serve. Laurente. Sapin, back set. Ocado, nothing there. They go to the other side. Dapol, okay. sacrificing her body. Si Coach Sandy, napatayo eh. Sinasabi niya, pabayaan mo na yun. Pabayaan. Mahaba pa ang season. Kasi this was a... A great hustle play. Coming off a very nice cross-court hit. Hinabol pa ni Dapol. Napatay mo si Coach Sandy. Dapol. Ginagahan. Wow. And that's why she's the MVP. The creativity. The non-stop focus. This is not an easy spike. Coming off the attack, resetting. She went attacking right away off that first ball. Laurente, back set. Sapit. it. To Bedania. And that's what they need to do. 
a whole lot more against JRU. Kasi nakikita nga natin, si Batara lang yung talagang Gina G pagdating sa blocking. So, kailangan i-maximize mo kasi meron kang mga matatangkad na frontline players. Si Aldea, itong si uh, Bedanya. So, kailangan puntahan mo ng puntahan. Pagurin mo yung kabila. High flyer din si Deala. Mm -hmm. Back to Deala. Oh, uh, they are huh? making the perpetual lights work, Coach Hammer. Oh, oh, oh. But again, Bedanya, regalo. Hindi naman niya birthday, pero may regalo sa gitna over that. Yun yung pinakamahirap oh. i-block yung regalo. No? Kasi nagsiscramble ka pa on the back line. Ito mo nga yung center na yung sumabay. Love the flick of the wrist. Oh, sharp serve. By Okado. Oh! She okay? Yep. Parang tumama yung ulo niya sa... Buti na lang, may cushion. All right. Perpetual leads JRU 8-4. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong sa Buanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. At nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Live here on G. Now, with the perpetual Lady Algas doing in favor here in the first set, this puts a subtle pressure on the backs of the JRU Lady Bombers. Kaya naman, paalala ng coach nila na si Coach Mia Choseco, this is nothing new. We do this every day sa training, kaya ayusin natin. For the perpetual side naman, na-mention nyo nga kanina, Anton and Coach Hammer, ang kapitana ng Lady Altas and how much untapped potential she has. Mukhang in the off-season, she recognized that and made sure to tap into it. Mas maigi daw talaga siyang nag-ensayo. It at itong Queen Altas at pinush ang kanyang physical and mental strength to possibly show a Razel Aldea 2.0. Now, let's see how things turned out in this set. Will they end up reflecting last season or will things take a turn for the unexpected? Anton and Coach Hammer? Thank you very much, Hannah. You know, when you're the team captain for the second straight season, there is that pressure to repay the trust that the coach has given to you. And playing in your final season, that's what Razelle Aldea is trying to do. And obviously to graduate as a champion. Yep, that's what she wants. That's what the team wants. But uh, hindi lahat ng gusto natin, nakukuha natin, pero pwede natin pagtrabahuhan. Yan lang naman ang sasabihin ni Coach Sandy. Lahat gusto yan eh. Lahat gusto mag-champion, especially on their last year. But are you willing? And uh, with the report of Hannah, yun yung ginawa niya throughout the offseason. Sakit naman ng lead niya, Mio. Totoo naman kasi. Masakit talaga yung totoo. Lahat gusto mag-champion. Pero at the end of the day, sa sampung team, isa lang dahil. Lahat tayo ngayon sa NC. Di ba? Isa lang ang mag-champion dyan. So kailangan gustong-gusto mo. You know, one player that has uh, impressed me also from the GRU side is Camille Bustamante. Number 11 seems like a player also kind of like in the mold of a Dolly Versosa, yun yun, yun yung pick high flyer, nila. has power. Gusto ko makita kung mga freshman ba itong mga ito, mga fresh pa. Kasi nakikita mo may athleticism. So ako, with uh, with my uh, field of work, pag tinitignan ko, may mga trainable treats ba sila na kaya mo pang iangat yung floor ng team? Meron eh. So pag mga bata pa itong mga ito, okay yung recruiting class natin ni Coach Mia. Actually meant uh, si Cherry Diame, number 11 mm -hmm. from the JRU side. Rookie daw talaga. Ang, ang, ang true rookies ni Coach Mia, Diame, Deyala, Lalong Isip, and one of the reserves si Ramos. Pero transferi si Del Pilar at si Preta. Mm. Yeah. So meron at meron. Diame. Deyala. Not over. 
Coach Mia wants to talk things over as Perpetual once again establishing a big lead. Subtle technique work as we see uh, Sir Frank Goosey, of course, from the University of Perpetual Health. Um, athletic director nila. and uh, attorney Jonas Capuchon, of course, from the San Pedro University. There you go. Oh, kasi hindi ko pwede makalimutan Baka, baka isumplex city ako ni Atty. John. So, can I get So, one of the things uh, I was telling Coach Hammer while listening to Coach Mia's huddle, yung mga nag-warm up na perpetual lights at tatangkad. Tatangkad. Tatangkad talaga sila. Nakikita nga natin eh. Ang perpetual help System Delta. Lalo na ngayon with Coach Olsen, sila Coach Sandy. Yeah. May peg na sila eh. Lahat ng players nila athletic across the board. Talagang athletes ang hahaba. Taka mga springy athletes. Too strong. Palo ni Batara. Okay din tong Batara. I think she's on her second or third year. I'm not mistaken because she was there last season sparingly used because of Sid Negos oh. who plays pretty much the entire game. Yeah. Ang pahinga lang ng technical timeout. <laughs> yeah, she's a sophomore. Uh -huh. Si Kring Batara. Oh, no. So you, you have pieces. You have pieces here that you can work with. And ang kagandahan dito sa team Nigeria, as early as now, they are a top out because they're competing. They're really competing. Kahit hindi mo nakikita on the scoreboard, they're, they're giving you a high work rate, and that's what you want to see as a coach. And really, as of this moment, though, Perpetual's biggest opponent is themselves with the number of unforced errors that they are committing. Count that as opening day jitters by their partner. Uh -huh. We give it to them. But for the most part, you got to build build up things towards the middle part of the season and then for the stretch run. Because they were cruising speed sila last season. Eh. Omipot again. There you go. Laurente to the captain, Ruiz. Sapin, quick attack for Aldea. And that's another point for Perpetual as we head to another technical timeout with the Lady Altas leading JRU 16 to 7 here in set number two. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59 kilogram event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job! 16 to 7 in favor of the perpetual Lady Altas. At siguro isa sa mga pinaka-proud na nanunood ngayon. Number 9 ng men's basketball team ng perpetual Jello Razon. Coach Amor, sino ba ang pinapanood ni Jello? Balita ako. <laughs> Yung mga nagsiset up din. Ah. Sa si Bin. Bin Bin yan. Okay. Sabi na. Big supporter ng Lady Altas. Proud BF daw ni Bin Bin Sapit. What's to put it out there? Pero Jello Razon. Mag Magkaiba sila na daw. Si Jello kasi pass first, pass sa ring. <laughs> pass first to the ring. You saw Dali versus yep. our new assistant coach of the JRU Lady Bombers 
former Queen Bomber. Mm -hmm. Is she still playing? It's a pro circuit. I am not. Uh, I am not sure. Yeah. Because after she graduated, she played a couple of conferences. Eh. I, I I wouldn't uh -huh. be surprised though because uh, you know Dali is still very young. But I, I I like how she answered the call of Coach Mia. Now when Coach Mia asked her to come back and help her mold these young ladies, very quick to answer the call. Brother, nothing beats coaching at home. Nothing beats it, and winning at home, nothing beats it. Kaya yung mga ganito growing pains, magandang kasama siya dyan. Kasi eventually, when you see that, uh, may silver lining eh, every, every journey. Pagka nakikita mo nung nag improve na yung mga bata, ang laking bagay niyan. Especially for her. What I like about what Perpetual is doing, the variety of plays, exactly. especially for Omipon, ang daming combination plays for her. Yun yung hinahanap natin. Oh, yeah. Babalikan natin kayo yung pregame natin. How will this ball be distributed? They're giving a different look. But still the same suspects. They know their percentages. Kung sino yung mga players nila na very effective. Dinadala lang nila sa iba't ibang spots. But right there, that was a very good hit for the Lady Bombers. Queen Bomber, Shola Alvarez. Former NCA MVP as well and member of our broadcast team. Oh, si Sid Niegos. Katabi ni Shola. Bakit siya nagtatago? <laughs> Si Shola, parang ano, eh, ready for date night, eh. <laughs> Back to the ball game. Back to the ball game. When it comes to fashion, how come all of a sudden you go silent, Hammer? Alam mo yung mga varsity coins, pag naglalaro ka ng matin, oh. ng NCAA, lahat ginagamit ko sa attributes, hindi sa fashion. Hirap na hirap niya ako maghanap ng damit. Black tsaka white lang yung sinusot. They're very basic. Hammer is a basic guy. I know. That's what, that's what dads do. <laughs> Ball is up in the air. Here's the toss. Cross court. And crossing. Three touches pala. Nicole Deala. One of six rookies. The way she plays, uh, I like the way that she is playing. But this girl has been playing well today. Talking about Winnie Bedanya. And in the second set, she already has three of those quick attacks. You know, I would say uh, Winnie Bedanya is one of the more underrated players in the league, Very Coach quiet. Hammer. Very quiet. Just go about, goes about her business. Very effective on the middle. So, it's a matangkad na middle blocker to. Because Perpetual's got two players in the top three in scoring. In Omipon and Dapol. Ang sumunod na na-score nila, si Bidanya. But she's ranked 29. The top heavy talaga yung scoring nila. Well, double digit scorer parehas. High teams itong si Omipon and on the 20s, si Dapol. Dapol getting the point. So we can see now, Bedan Bedanya still looking for that consistency, Coach yeah. Hammer. It, there are times when the timing is not there, kaya hindi masyadong baon yung palo. No, but uh, if she can develop it. She's working with the second setter right now. Uh -huh. You see, uh, Fifi. Fifi. Pagka nang kanina, kaya uh, min -min, uh, two times, two times, yung mga pangalan pa <laughs> setters nito. Uh -huh. eh, Mas maganda yung bigay sa kanya ng bola. But right there, getting another point. Si Mui Bedanya. Very impressive in the opening day. Ito si Bedanya. Now I can see why Coach Sandy told me na minsan sinastart niya itong si Ariola. She's got skills. A more serious tone and Dali Versosa joining that huddle now. There, the coaching staff for the JRU Lady Bombers. And hawak palang yung clipboard, that's yung marker. 
Tayin mo, by the middle of the season, kung mo crocus na yan. <laughs> so we are seeing the rookie setter, Fifi Ariola. Can you imagine if uh, they stick together all throughout their time in the NCAA? Magandang, ano yan, tandem yan, first and second setter. Yeah. Ni Bin Bin at ni Fifi. Pero alam mo, Coach Hammer, this year, tama ka eh. This has to be the year for the Perpetual Lady Altas because Aldea is graduating, Dapol is graduating, Okado is graduating, Cordero is also graduating. So, this has to be it. This has to be the year, Coach Hammer. Who's one Yola goes to the opposite side and GRU gets a kill block. Better blocking by the Lady Bombers right here. Makikita natin na wala halos na daanan. Ayun. Swift right there by Hasarero. Jen Silverio. Number six, Sizzle Rosario. Silverio taking her time. Ariola to Enrico. Ariola goes to Dapo. Down the line. She makes it look so easy. The MVP. Oh, parang may dalang metro sa bulsa. Lahat ng palo, sukat na sukat. Ang hirap niya na ito na yung off a back set, going down the line, with your momentum bringing you to the other sideline, getting into that zone number two. Yun lang. Bate. That's really the only thing that's hurting the perpetual lady Altas Errors. now. Huge lead established by the lady Altas. Back set. And JR, you having trouble putting that ball in the air. Set point for the Perpetual Lady Altas. The Lady Altas is now at set point. Nice hit by Krisha Cordero, one of the graduating players that I mentioned. Apat sila. Playing in their final season. Rosario tossing it up to the captain, Ruiz. Rosario. Ruiz. Free ball for Perpetua. Combination play. Ariola. Omipon. And. Oh, there's a check. That's set point. Omipon again. The finisher for the Lady Altas. And just like that. The Lady Altas, one set victory away from taking their first win of the season here in Season 99 of your NCAA. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang nabang. Final score, 94. 25 to 14 set victories for the Perpetual Lady Altas and they did it in the same amount of time as well. So, 
pretty much uh, consistent the usual for the perpetual lady Aras as we take a look at the highlights of set number two dito naman coach hammer what stood out to you well better variations when it comes to the sets na tinatakbo para rito sa kupunan ng Lady Altas. We mentioned it throughout the coverage na meron silang mga packages na tinatakbo na paiba-iba. Siguro kaya din ginagamit ni Coach Sandy si Fifi. Palitan sila ni Min Min. Merong mga naitatakbong packages itong si Ariola na mas kamp kampante siya na yun yung itinatakbo. On the flip side, again, youthful exuberance, a lot of mechanic, mechanic problems. Yung mga mechanics ng GRU, tama pag-receive, gigil na gigil pumalo. So yun yung nakikita natin that uh, it goes away with reps. But again, no excuses. You're competing in the NCAA. Nandun yung work rate nila. But you have to be patient with these girls. There's that last hit by Omipon. Check pa. We saw some of the solid hits of uh, Winnie Bedanya. Okay, they were able to limit their unforced uh -huh. errors, Coach Hammer. But now, 13 out of the 28 points in two sets by the Lady Bombers came off unforced errors by the Lady Altas. But again, they, they've been attacking all throughout our matchup. Plus 10 sila sa attacks kanina, plus 5. And then with blocks, Jerry has more kill blocks. Two aces pa para rito sa Lady Altas. So offensively, maganda yung itinatakbo nila. But an even better defensive ball game para rito sa kuponan ng Lady Altas. They're able to control that floor and nakaka-fabricate sila ng mas maraming atake. Mas mataas yung percentage of uh, attacks dito ng Lady Altas. So if you just tuned in and to those who have been tuning in and wondering kung bakit uh, hindi naglalaro ang uh, reigning best libero na si Marian Andal, so we just found out from Hannah na she's experiencing some, some knee pain, Coach Hammer. Mm -hmm. I sit and forget it, I guess, if it's not uh, anything serious. Hopefully it's just minor uh, aches and pains. But it's very capable of his uh, career dito. So, si Jody Lozano, uh, part of the reserve list, but inactivate the coach Sandy today. I asked him who among the players showed a lot of improvement and she yung binanggit sa akin ni Coach Sandy. So she's done a good job filling in for the reigning best libero, Marian Nanda. And you always say this, Coach Hammer, next man up yep. mentality. You graduate. I mean, it, it happens. If players graduate, players get injured. Players may have a bad game. Sino mga susunod? Sino nakapila behind them? Oh, I could only speak through experience. I've seen it in uh, teams losing players through the transfer portal and then the players going pro. But at the end of the day, if you build a winning culture, championships will come. The wins will come and uh, you need to develop your players. Yun yung ginagawa ngayon dito ni Coach Sandy na nabigyan ng pagkakataon. Nasa reserve list, na-activate. So you have to be ready. And again, rules natin dito sa NCAA as we see the reigning best libero, Marian Andal. She won that award as a rookie last season. So we pray for a speedy recovery. But ang maganda dito, at least she's in uniform. Yeah. So it's it's not that serious of an injury. Probably just doing this for precaution. And it helps for their squad din. Mas lalalim yung rotation nila. Malaking bagay yan eh. Kasi nga, if you're using that next man up mentality, para maging ready yung naka-back up sa'yo, kailangan niya ng game reps. As we see another uh, point here for the Lady Altas. For the MVP, Mary Rose Tapol. Nasareno. Tapol. Long on that hit. Well, let's take a look at it one more time. I think she was experimenting on that, on that uh, aerial attack. Well, you have the luxury of testing out some moves in game when you have a huge lead, as we see Winnie Bedanya on a running attack. A little variation here. I think that runner 
right at the middle of that defense. And you love how Sapin's style of play, nothing flashy about oh, it. Solid, solid. Just very very errors. Very simple and effective. Sapin. To Omipon! Wow! Lahat busog. Oh, kasi nabibigyan lahat ng bola. Dinala niya kay Vidanya, Dapol, and Omipon. So alam na natin yung pecking order ngayon eh. Ang uh, pag sa simula, it's Omipon that they want to activate. Dapol will be consistent, paambon-ambon. And then si Vidanya, Aldea, and then on the home stretch, you bring it to the MVP. Omipon from being the rookie of the year to looking like a super sophomore now. Oh, siya na magmamana niyan eh. Pagka-graduate na to nila, Mary Rose Dapol. Sapin. Bedanya with a little bit of a delayed attack. Omipon wants it, gets it. Receivers were there. The diggers were there. And Omipon breaks down the wall. And a lot of load on that hit. Para dito, okay? Shy Omipon. And to give and go action. Get that dig. Oh, sige, come on, Mambala. Nakargado talaga po mga. Nakargado talaga po mga. Combination play for JRU. Sapin. First drop ball attack. Oh, good, good, good. Attack right there. Perfect ball placement by Inday Laurente. I think that's the second time that they were able to execute that quick play on the middle, right in front of the defender, para kay Patara. I think this is the best start for a set para sa JRU here in this match. Do me the kids a perpetual. Oh, people. Well, Shai Omipon was part of such a great rookie class last season that included such talented spikers like Mapua's Roxy de la Cruz and Arellano's Laika Tunasan. That was a strong batch. I wanna see. Why is she reserve lang si Tudlasan? I can see she got injured, siguro. That's also what I was wondering about when I saw the lineup. I can see Laika, oh, miscommunication there on the reception. She doesn't have a signal. The defense of GRU. Two straight points for the Lady Altas. When we come back, Hannah Arguelles will provide us with a courtside update. Don't go away. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Dia. At nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Live here on GTV. At nakahusap ko nga kanina ang former Queen Bomber na si Dolly Bersosa who now carries the name of JRU in a different way. Now, the assistant coach. She tells me that the reason why the rookies of the team seem to be the ones making the points, one word talaga yan, Anton and Coach Hammer, enjoyment. Dahil daw bilang freshie, mas ini-enjoy pa nila ang kanilang mga games at di nagpapadala sa pressure. At pagdating naman sa Dolly Bersosa effect, na kaninang minamention nyo, masasabing ito daw ay ang kanyang pagiging palaban sa loob ng court na hopefully maipasa sa ating Lady Bombers. Now, for the perpetual side, these winning sets aren't coming easy for them with the opposing team putting up a fight. Paalala ni Coach Sandy Rieta, huwag pabayaan ang depensa at huwag magsasawa until the 25 points is achieved. With how things are going, do you think that the Dolly Bersosa effect is enough to turn the game in their favor? Anton and Coach Hammer. Well, I think the most difficult thing is you can't fill the shoes of a Dolly Versosa. And for her, it's also hard that now her role is 
she can't be on the court. Yep. So to impart the wisdom to the players, I think that's the struggle. Yeah, true. And it's a um, steep adjustment period then for Dolly. Definitely. Yeah. Every player who is very successful and then goes into a different facet of the game. A steep learning curve. Because you're the one who's doing it. You want to show it. Now the challenge would be her leading this squad in a different capacity. And I think the difference is, as we see this hit by Okado, remember when Shola was the Queen Bomber, Dolly Versosa was already on the team. Uh -huh. So we knew that one day, the eh. crown would be passed to Dolly. After Dolly, she sit there, but different position, middle blocker. Now for JRU, the crown, I think, is up for grabs. Dapat. And they are very, uh, very impressive young players. Pero again, trial by fire. Yan. Lalabas at lalabas ng yung laro. Pag pinalaro mo ng pinalaro. Cha Okado looking good as well. Six point wala na kayo ulit. Tuloy-tuloy tayo. Pag nag-training tayo, tuloy-tuloy ginagawa natin. Tama? Oh. Kanina sa report ni Hana, she was explaining how Coach Sandy was saying, "Wag kayo magsawa sa depensa hanggat umabot sa 25 yung score." It's also kind of the same way for JRU. Na wag kayo wag kayo magsawa ng lumaban because it's the same type of resistance na karilang nararamdaman and fighting against every set. Well, toto yun. Because it's it's very important for you to do the right thing. If you're talking about the Lady Altas, yeah, you're leading by two sets. You're very comfortable right now with a six-point lead. But again, habits. If you want to be competitive, hindi ka dapat na mimili na kalaban. Hindi ka dapat tumitingin sa scoreboard. It's always about focusing on the play, playing present. Yun nyan. On the flip side, naman for JRU, it's almost the same thing, but on a different attack. You want them to do the right habits and reinforce it and give them enough leeway na hindi sila huminto. Yun yung sinasabi ni Coach Mia. Na hindi ka pwede huminto sa isang puntos tapos magbibigay ka ng lima. So kailangan dire-direcho just like that. Let's see if they can string possessions here. Sid Niegos barking out some words of encouragement. Dito kay Patatas. Sid Niegos sitting beside former Queen Bomber Shola Alvarez at the back of the JRU bench. So you love to see it when uh, former players and team captains come back. And I'm sure they, they miss this type of experience and opportunity so much. Tapol. Hasareno. This is going to be a free ball for Perpetual and that's not a good thing for the Heavy Bombers. An automatic right there. Aldea. Kita mo na eh, nung binanggit mo na malambot yung angat, free ball. Tapos nasa harap ni Aldea and uh, sabi with enough room for her to work with. Laking bagay. Easy as 1-2-3. Pass, set, and spike. As Coach Hammer always says, ganun lang ka simple. Simple lang. Basic lang. Kailangan yung basic lang. And now it's gonna be a free ball for JRU. Binalik agad. Ni Laurente, Inday, to Del Pilar. Good save by Okado, Dapol. Oh, wow. I'm still amazed at how she's able to get that ball over the net. Sapin, running attack para kay Bedanya. Will she get the check? Yes, she will. That's a check ball. I'm very impressed with the way that she's been playing. Talking about Bedanya, hinahanap natin sino ang mag-pro-provide ng additional na puntos dito. Sinubukan yung running hit, pilipit na palo, dinala sa kabila, nakuha pa yung puntos. Dr. Lorenzo Lorenzo of Emilia Ginaldo College. Good read by the Perpetualites. Bedanya with a kill block right there. Back-to-back -back points. Para kay Abedanya. 
Laurente, free ball. Another one for Perpetua. Tapol. Na una yung lundag sa talong. Hindi na silip na, paparating pa lang yung bola. Kaya pinanshot na lang niya. May Ruiz. May Ruiz. At the service line. Sapin to Tapol. Easy does it. For Mary Rose Tapol, the reigning MVP. And she puts Perpetual on top. 16 to 8 as we head to another technical timeout. 8 for the Lady Bombers. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong sa Buanga City ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para... So in the earlier match, Benilde, they experienced a little bit of resistance in the third set, mm -hmm. but still coming up with a sweep against EAC. And that juggernaut and of uh, a program the past two years, stomping their class, and just doing work. Saka kompleto pa rin yung squad nila. Gunning for that three-peat. Coming off two season sweeps. Establishing a, well, what they want to establish as a dynasty. 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 That's a good one, Coach Hammer. But dalawa, you can't call it a dynasty yet. Diba, back to back pala. Matasing standard na iliwan ng Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant, 350. Number 17, huh? Number 7, Jenny Sanberg. Pero grabe, ano? 30 match winning streak ng Benilde Lady yep. Blazers. Can you imagine? They won 30 straight matches. And that's doing work. The last time that they lost was January 29, 2019 against Perpetual when they were eliminated in the Final Four. So, been a while. At saka mahabang isipan yun kasi dumaan sa pandemic. Oo. Sapin to Tapol. I, I know and, and it's hard to say also because every time you suit up, players are expected to go 100. Yeah. But feeling ko itong si Dapol, I mean, from where we're sitting, even though we're watching live, cruise control. Hindi pa ito yung ano eh. Isang daang porsyento eh. Kailangan cruise control ka lang. Hindi pa ito yung DN eh. Wala pa. Hindi pa. Number nine, huh? I don't want to flex, Coach Hammer. Actually, hindi mo naman kaya ni flex because uh, right now, si Coach Sandy, medyo kinokontrol din eh. Uh, yung, uh, yung mga touches niya. Yung mga ganitong opportunities, you want the other players to step up. Diba? Padiinin mo na yung iba para magkakumpiyansa. Habang tumataas yung supporting cast mo, mas nagiging lethal yung squad nyo. Eh, sa lagay na to, 15 points na si Dapol. Last season, she was averaging 18.7 points per match. Who's control eh. So... I mean, she, she's right there. She can get the, the three or four remaining points. And especially now that she's at the service line where she was the number one server last season with 32 aces. Almost three a game. More than three a game. And she's had some errors today, so... Hindi pa, ano, hindi pa masyado gumagawa mula sa service line. First... First attack opportunity. Yeah, so, wide. Too long. Rather. Second service error for for Dapol in the past two sets. On deck to serve, Jen Silverio. Jen Silverio. Back at the service line for the Lady Bombers. Sapi. Omipon. Set was bombers. a little bit far out, so difficult angle para kay Shai. She still went after it though. 
Sapit. Back row attack para kay MRD. And Dayane is able to break down the wall. It's got to feel good for the rookies. Sherry Dayane. Okay ito. Okay. Ako, ako okay itong mga rookies nila. Lalo na 11-8. <laughs> Looking at them right now, they, they seem like a very, very young bunch. Mm -hmm. Substitution for the lady also, number 15, huh? Si number 14, Laurel Tenanan, si Batara, yung mga holdovers. Mm -hmm. I think si Laurente na lang yung kasama dun sa Final 14. So you've got four new additions to this JRU lineup on the floor. Patara with some power. There is Shola and Dolly, the two Queen Bombers. The two greatest players in JRU women's volleyball history. Uh-huh. You can say that because they were winning it, if we may say, right? Because they were in the final four. That's the, the Queen's Row. Sapin. So that's a good hit by Enrico. Okay, you never said that. Very basic. Yeah. Not, uh, nothing flashy. A few back sets na na convert nila, but for the most part, portion two hundred laban. JRU backs against the wall. Perpetual just four points away now from taking their first win of the season. I like how uh, Shola and Sin are just in the back munching. Enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Kelsey Plum or Plume watching a game. That's an adjustment. Mm -hmm. Jersey sales, no? <laughs> oh. I think she's okay. So, well, all I can say is hats off to the perpetual players. Kanina kinabahan si Coach Sandy kasi hinapol pa ni Dapol yung bola. Inensayo nila yan, Anton. Inensayo nila. Kung baga sa ibang athletes landing, sila landing and rolling. Ano kasi, may, may resounding thud. Parang wrestling. Over to Bakanina. And Halo naman si Tribal Chief, and si Pahinal Boss. Eh. <laughs> the last one, Tinat, yung mga NW shirts natin. Ah. Oh, we gotta get clearance si for that, though. Oh, ano ko kayo ng shirt. Ayo ko pa yaga ni Aral. Eh. <laughs> so, <laughs> too wide on that spike oh, by Omipo. Mamadali na kiyel. Si Shai. Laurente. Sapin. Quick attack. Good save by Alonia. Sapin, back set. And if you're hearing uh, the crowd come alive, mga JRU, Rizalians po yan. Mm -hmm. And there is actually a men's match that's going to happen after this. So if you want to check it out, come down here to the Phil Oil Center in San Juan. 
Saka intact din itong uh, heavy bombers, no? Intact yung team nila, tapos uh, defending champs kalaban nila. Nabuhay big na yung crowd. Oo. Oh. <laughs> hey! And I think the, 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 life, the life, the crowd is giving these players very evident. Yeah. Where was this all game? Why too late? Where was this? Oh, could have helped a lot, but again. Excite big na eh. Kumapal big na yung crowd. Sa second side of you eh. Sapin. Oh, what a save by Alonia. Blockers were there for her back one. So, walang coverage yung blockers dahil nakuha niya niya yung bola. Ganda nung pag-pop niya rito. Then popping right back and trying to be block support right there. So yung tutulong dun sa tumutulong dun sa mga blocker ang nawala. Kaya nabutas yung gitna. Oh, nobody home. Breta finding the corner. Sa Breta! Jerry, you holding on. They don't want to disappoint the crowd. Showing a lot of energy here on opening day. Batara. Good receive by last year's Rookie of the Year. And he gets to this quick attack by Enrico. Look at that sliding oh. reception by Shai Omipo. You'd love to see it when players play both sides of the court. Oh, you need Montante. Kasi hindi ka makakalaro dito sa Altas kung hindi ka dumidipensa. Kasi yun yung bread and butter yung Coach Santi. Laging niya sinasabi na yung dipensa nila yung nagpapabricate ng kanilang opensa. Perpetual though. At match point. Looking at the players in the front line, you have Bedanya, you have Okado, and you have Dapol. Sapin to Daps. Check ball. No, she won't get it. Not yet. Corning and Taipa, may pagkakataon pa rito ang AD Bombers. But at this point, you cannot commit a mistake if you're the JRU Lady Bombers. And for Petwell, for Perpetual, all it takes is one good receive. Omipon to Sapin. Combination play. Okado cannot finish it. One-handed set, JRU is not giving up. Laban pa. Hanggat may pagkakataon, laban pa. Good one-hand set. Pati si Coach Sandy, napangiti na lang doon. And good recognition here by Inday Laurente. Hey, we get to listen to a Coach Sandy Rieta huddle. I want to see this. A very active Jasmine Sapin on that huddle, Coach Harbour. As she should. As she should. Dahil... Alam mo, gasgas na gasgas na to. Luman-luma na eh. Extension sila ng coach. Pero yun yung totoo eh. Ikaw yung co-control ng opensa as they uh, try to uh, take this W home. It looks like they're gonna go to Beba. Mm -hmm. Charmaine May Okado. Let's see. Sapi. Oh, they go to Bebanya. Alonia saving it. Bayane. Oh, what a save right there by Lozano. For Petwa, trying to finish it. Tapoy! Scoring and scoring for the win. When in doubt, you go to the MVP. And here she is. There's the pass. There's the set. And the finish by Mary Rose Tapoy. Of course, home stretch. 
Rinse and repeat. Alam na natin yan sa dadalin. And taking care of business was the Lady Altas. They are on a mission. Unfinished business for the Lady Altas Coach Hammer. And they do take care of business in match day number one here in NCAA Season 99. All players from both teams, please stand by for the singing of your respective school hymns. Once Perpetual again, our first you again, congratulations to the, the Perpetual Lady Altas, Altas for their first win of the season, winning in straight sets 25 14, 25 14, 25 21 against the JRU Lady Bombers. When we come back, we will have some post match coverage with some interviews, so don't go away. This is NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game.
Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222kg. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Papatuloy ang ating live coverage ng NCAA Season 99. Again, congratulations to the Perpetua Lady Altas notching their first win of the tournament against JRU. Winning in straight sets, 25-14, 25-14, 25-21. At ngayon, kasama po namin ni Coach Hammer Martin Antonio, winning coach in his third season, but his second full season with a full off-season. Pero hindi masyadong nakapagpahinga. Coach Sandy, kanina nag-uusap tayo sa locker room right after losing in the stepladder semis last year. Halos two weeks lang yung break. After that, mm. it was back to work. Ganun talaga eh. Uh, hindi pwedeng magpahinga ng matagal. Baka maglusugan yung mga player natin. <laughs> no? Lalo na pagbabae, medyo-medyo madaling tung lumusog eh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coach, tatlong bagay nung tinanong kita. Uh, what improved for Perpetual? You said experience, maturity, at yun tapang. Mm -hmm. From what you saw today, do you think those three things were on display dito sa inyong unang panalo? Yes, oh, nakita ko naman yung improvement doon sa tatlong sinabi ko. Nakita ko sa kanila, nakita ko din sa, sa aura ng mukha nila na yung kumpiyansa nila, 100%. Then yung tapang, andoon na, dagdadagdagdagdagan na lang namin pa. Kung kaya dagdagan, sagad natin. Coach, ako naman, nung wala kasi ako nung nag-bonding uh, kayo ni Anton. Coach, uh, tanong ko lang, after that uh, final four loss, you, you took two weeks to break it. Ano-ano yung mga talagang in-emphasize ninyo towards this build-up ninyo papunta sa season 99? Yung, yung kulang namin as a, as a team and then yung individual nila, medyo nag-focus kami doon. Sa, sa tingin ko naman, uh, yung skills naman nila at yung ibang ano meron eh. Parang yun nga, yung katulad sinabi ko kay Sir Anton kanina na kailangan dagdagan natin yung tapang, yung puso. Yung puso pa, para lakihin natin yung puso nyo para, para yung kumpiyansa nila eh, ganun kataas. Coach Sandy, alam natin na dito sa Perpetual, gagawa si Mary Rose Dapol at gagawa si Shai Omipon. Last season, they were number one and number three pagdating sa scoring. Tanong namin ni Coach Hammer, Earlier, sino yung pangatlong scorer nyo dito sa Perpetual? Who do you expect na mag-step up at tumulong dun sa dalawa? Lahat yan. Yung, uh, yung anim na nasa loob. Lahat yan. Uh, expected ko na tutulong sila dun sa dalawa. Minsan nga, mas, ano eh, mas, mas, mas maganda yung performance nila. Yung, yung anim na yun, uh, kumpiyansa ako dun sa anim na magko-contribute lahat yung sino may nasa loob ng court. Hindi lang pati yung bubunutin ko from bench, magko-contribute yan. 
ko siya nga rin ako doon sa kumpiyansa na binigay ninyo doon sa inyong libero, Marian Andal. Medyo may iniinda. Mm. Sabi kanina doon sa interview, binigyan nyo ng pagkakataon yung rookie nyong uh, libero. Maganda yung inilaro nyo in yes, this so. game. Ano yan, talagang uh, kumpiyansa ako dyan na medyo na, na, nadagdagan namin yung focus sa training sa kanya kasi mm -hmm. nga, siyempre, siya talaga yung gagamitin namin yun. Sa, sa team ko, magka-level na sila ni Marian ngayon eh. Ay, ikiklip natin yan. Oo, oh, hindi, hindi. Totoo, totoo. Huwag okay, ka-level na sila. Kaya siguro eh, uh, bago mag-game, yung ang decision ko na lang, magdadasal muna game. ako ng sign ko sino sa kanila yung yeah, gagawin time dito. Oh. Coach, uh, kanina napansin din namin ni Anton, ang ganda ng floor defense ninyo. Last season, top 3 na kayo eh. Mas dumiin pa ngayon. Kung pwede, hindi rin ganun kaganda yung mga palo ng JRU. Pero maganda yung idinidepensya niyo. Coach, mas nag-focus ba kayo dito? Kasi nung Final Four, yun yung naging problema. Yes, tama yan. Mas nag-focus kami dyan. Kung baga sa training, nasa 80% floor defense kami. Then yung 20, yun yung, yung, yung offense naman namin sa taas. Kasi... Yung opensa, meron na sila eh. Tsaka medyo mas gusto nila yung opensa. Alam mo yung mga gusto nila, papalo lang. Pa. So mas nag-focus kami sa defense yun. Kung mga 80% nga nung oras ng training namin, depensa kami, depensa, depensa, and then blockings. Kaya pala napakalinis ng court <laughs> ng perpetual every time coach. Oh, oh. Pag may bisita itong kay Miko. Kaya ka after ng practice, madumi yung... <laughs> <laughs> pero, pero malinis yung Malinis yung court. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Coach Sandy, kanina pa tingin ang tingin dito. Dati mong player, ngayon naglalaro sa men's side. They're warming up right now. Si Kurt The Train Rosos. Pamorito kasi natin yan eh. Coach, ang dami mong napanalo ng championships sa boys division. For you as a coach, ano ba yung formula for success that you won so many championships at that level na gusto mong ma-apply dito sa women's side? Sa akin kasi yung dedication mo at yung discipline. Yun ang importante eh. O katsaka yung, yung sariling pag ano mo sa, sa sarili mo, yung disiplina mo sa sarili mo, umpisan na sa kanya. Kasi hindi naman every minute hour magkasama ko sila eh. Pag yung outside na, yun yung inaan sa disiplinahin din yung sarili nyo. Kahit wala kaming mga coach sa harapan nyo. Coach, puntahan natin. Di ba, galing sa boys, ito, ganito rin yung nakikita namin in the women's side ah. Dalawang sunod na taon, mukhang loaded yung recruiting class mo. Tapos may mga nakapila pa dun sa likod ng bench. Coach, hindi ko nalang papangalanan, mukhang mabibigat din yung mga recruit nyo. Yung mga transferis, nakita ko kanina. Coach, Gano ka importante ito ngayon? Kasi apat na players ninyo ang gagraduate after NCA season na ito. Tsaka mabigat. Yung MVP nyo, si Mary Rose gagraduate na rin. So, gano ka bigat yung recruiting ngayon? Dahil last year, best libero. Tapos number three scorer, rookie of the year, nakuha ninyo. Tapos ngayon, very impressive din, pati yung mga sophomores. Andiyan na, padating na yung iba. Nakita ka namin kung siya naglilipat ng gamit. Nandun na sa likod. Hindi mga natutulog na sa dorm. And we know, sobrang ganda ng recruitment ni Coach Sandy. Even Min Min Sapin is long-time player mo na rin, Coach, di ba? Since ano, grade 3 yata. Wow. Grade 2, okay. Coach, balikan natin Min Min Sapin. Kanina, ang ganda nung laro niya. Mas basic yung inilalaro niya ngayon. Wala nag-ano yung mga... Alanganin niya yung mga sets tulad nung last season when she started the season. Naging uh, mas concentrated ba kayo na mas pasimplihin mo oh, na lang yung laro? Yun pa isa, yung sinabi ko din sa kanya na hanggang medyo uh, mag-aang sa pakiramdam yung laro, lamang tayo, basicin muna natin. Kung nag-click naman eh, why not, di ba? Huwag muna natin pahirapan ng... Last year kasi meron siyang mga binavari pa niya na set na oh, nandudun na. Tsaka may isang sineset na walang spiker eh. Ay, may mahirap yung coach. Mahirap kumuha ng punta sa'yo. Kaya nga napapagalita ko. Eh. Alam mo naman mga coach, pag, pag sinetan mo ng sa likod, wala pa lang papalo eh. Patay tayo uh, dyan. No, no. We're having so much fun here, coach. And I'm sure you want to enjoy this win. Kaya naman, coach, we'll give you the floor to greet lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa inyo Ayan. na nanonood ngayon. Unang-una, nagpapasalamat ako sa coach natin sa taas, Lord Jesus, sa pagkabigay sa amin ng panalo. And then, uh, yung walang sawang pagsuporta sa amin ng Tamayo family. Si Chairman Alta, si Ma'am Daisy, Sir Richard, Sir Anthony, tsaka si Boss Anton. Yun, tsaka sa sports office namin, si Sir Gusi, siyempre. Yun, tsaka yung mga kapatid ko. Binabati ko rin kayo lahat. Tsaka yung mga kaibigyan ko may birthday, si Tom Paul, si Paring Yax. O, alam na yan, Coach. Happy birthday. Alam na yan. Tsaka pala, birthday kay Bimbi Campton. 
Oh, ayan. <laughs> Alam mo, Coach Hammer, kailangan ilagay sa oh. relay yung tawa kanina ni Coach Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Ang daming recruit. Eh. Mukhang excited si Coach. Oh, oh, Coach, oh. enjoy the win. Congratulations. Oh, salamat, salamat. Thank you, thank you sa inyo. Coach Sandy Rieta, winning coach today for the Perpetual Lady Altas. Ngayon naman, kasama ni Hannah Arguelles, ang kanilang team captain na si Razel Aldea. Thank you so much, Anton and Coach Hammer. As you said nga kanina, I am here with the captain of the Perpetual Lady Alta, someone who is blooming into her on top potential, as you said kanina. So as we said, I'm here with Razel Aldea. So Razel, first of all, congratulations. Thank you so much po. First game na first game, panalo agad. Yes Thank naman. You, <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So ito, for my first question for you since first game nyo nga, and first win din ng team nyo. Pero of course, more than that, it's your first win as captain. How does that make you feel? Um, sobrang sarap sa pakiramdam and sobrang grateful ako. Alam mo, sabi mo, first game, first win. Pero actually, ang nararamdaman ko talaga, uh, since last game ko na, parang ito yung last last first game. And masarap sa pakiramdam na panalo kami. And also, sobrang thankful ako na hindi kami pinabayaan ni Lord. Alam mo, sobrang grabe yung mga naging paghihirap namin. And sobrang thankful ako na lumabas siya lahat dito sa game namin. So parang grabe yung dagdag na sentimentality, no? Para dun sa game, of course. So kanina rin actually, Razel, napag-usapan natin yung changes na nangyari sa'yo when you became captain. Napag-usapan natin yung maturity in terms of mentally and yung selflessness. Para sa'yo, how did that manifest kanina sa court? Um, una, ala, yung maturity muna na nakita ko sa akin talaga sa game namin kanina. Nung, ang tagal ko kasi nakapag-adjust actually. Uh, nung unang pang itong mga palo ko, yung, late yung paso ko. But then, uh, sobrang tagal ko na nga. So parang naisip ko, yung mga pagkakamali ko, um, hindi siya para madown ako. So it's a learning for me. So uh, there is still an adjustment and kila, makaka adapt pa ako. So minanifest ko maigi yon yung mga sinabi ko kanina. And thankful na ko na... Nagawa ko siya kanina and sana uh, simula hanggang dulo may apply ko siya hindi lang sa akin pati sa buong team namin. I love it, di ba? Nakikita nyo. Talagang it comes with the mindset talaga with every game. And of course, kung ano yung mindset ng captain nyo, dapat mapasa rin yun sa team. Tama, sobra. Exactly. So now, it's the first game for the Lady Altas. And of course, it comes with Kaba, yung Jitters. Pero despite that, what do you think... Uh, were the factors kung bakit kayo nanalo ngayon despite the kaba syempre um unang una um, sinabihan kami ng mga coaches namin kanina uh, first game to so uh, relax lang ha walang kakabahan ganyan and malaking naging tulong namin yun and sa tingin ko talaga yung pinaka the best na nakatulong sa amin is yung mga paghihirap namin eh throughout the training so parang naisip namin na eto na yun eh hindi na tayo makakabalik isang taon ulit yung preparation mo so pag tumapa ka dyan sa Tara Fleck make the best out of it it's now or never sabi nga nila so ayun aabangan nyo pa kami sa mga susunod na game grabe si captain pag nagsalita alam mo parang kailangan nyo manalo wala kayong choice yan ang gusto ko Ngayon, Razel, actually, medyo nakikurious din ata yung mga gentlemen dun sa panel. Kaya ngayon, ibabalik ko ngayon kay Anton and Coach Hammer for a few more questions. Itong si Kapitana Razel Aldea, ano eh, yung, kumpa, yung kumpiyansa niya parang pang Miss Universe eh. Di ba kung sumagot? Pwede. Ano eh, very... Pwede. Pwede. Pero ako may, may oh. tanong ako. Alam, I, I think Razel is uh, na naririnig tayo ngayon. I, I mean, Ras, um... Throughout the off-season, madali yung sinasabing i-manifest. Ano ba yung mga ginawa mong adjustments? Dahil mataas ang expectations sa'yo yun. Second year mo na bilang team captain. What are the adjustments for you coming into this season? Dahil more will be asked from you. Um, sa akin, una yung mindset ko. Kasi physically, uh, ginagawa na yun ng coaches namin. Eh, tinutulungan na po kami. So sa akin, mindset talaga. Alam mo kasi kapag malakas ka physically, but then yung mindset mo hindi malakas, tatalunin ka nito eh. And then tatalunin ka rin ang kaba mo. So sa akin, nasa captain, um, ginagawa ko din talaga. Tinatata ko, na, tinatata ko sa isip ko na kailangan ako yung number one na hindi susuko sa team namin. Makita ko man na mapagod sila. Ako, dapat kung mapagod ako, sa isip ko lang yon kailangan hindi ko ipakita sa teammate ko kasi ako yung pagkukunan nila ng lakas ng loob. Razel, yung kasama mo as the other middle blocker, si Winnie Bedanya, para sa akin, isa sa mga pinaka-underrated na players dito sa NCAA Women's Volleyball. Number 15 siya last year yes. sa MVP race. Gano'n ka-importante yung role niya dito sa Season 99? And what can you say about her improvement and preparations for this season? 
Uh, wow. Um, actually, si Winnie Bedanya, uh, she started as an opposite spiker bago siya naging middle blocker. And ako, talaga nasaksihan ko yung um, improvement niya. Sobrang laki ng improvement niya and sobrang helpful niya sa team. Kasi alam mo yun, pareho kaming middle blocker. So kung ma-off ako, kailangan mag-step up siya. And talaga nag step up siya and sobrang thankful ako. Dalawa kami, sobrang close namin. Pareho kapag may mga mali kami or may mga hindi kami magandang performance, pareho kami nagtutulungan na uh, at ideya off ka sa ganito, bilisan mo sa blockings, ganyan. And uh, si Winnie Bedanya, so, si, as a senior yan, sobrang malalapitan ko and sobrang proud na proud ako kay Winnie. Lalo na kung mag taon pa siya, hi Winnie, sana naririnig mo to. Uh, kailangan, kailangan ka ba ng team? And ngayon pa lang sasabihin ko, mga last words ko sa'yo, sobrang proud na proud ako sa'yo as an ate mo. Yun lang, ang galingan mo pa. Grabe. Ano, very heartfelt message yep. mula kay Ate Dea. So I guess that's it from our end, Coach Hammer. Let's bring it back to Hannah. Thank you so much, Anton and Coach Hammer. Now, ito, tatanungin na lang kita, Razel Alde, meron ka bang gustong batiin ngayon uh, to give your thanks? Uh, Unang-una po, uh, syempre kay Lord. Uh, Lord, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng guidance niyo sa amin. And sa so first win na pinagkaloob niyo sa amin, sa Perpetual Family, sa mga boss namin, Tamayo Family, um, sa mga coaches namin, sa mga PT namin, and sa lahat po ng sumusuporta. Sa, sa family ko, Aldea Family, Topacio Family, sa mga friends ko, si Abby, si Mariel, si Royce, uh, si Zab, uh, sa lahat po ng mga hindi ko nabate, uh, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng pagsuporta niyo. Ayan. Thank you so much, Razel Alde, and I'll be bringing it back now to you, Anton and Coach Hammer. Thank you very much, Hannah. You love to see it. You love the demeanor. Mm -hmm. And I guess if there's an award for Miss Congeniality, I think I would give it to Ate Dea. Sa but, na. but she wants that championship. This is Coach Hammer really looking for yep. the higher standard. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mr. Championships. When we come back, we will have your choice for best player of the match when we return dito sa ating post-game coverage ng NCAA Season 99. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lapang. Final score, 93-76. Post-match coverage ng NCAA Season 99 kung saan nagtagumpay ang Perpetual Lady Altas laban sa JRU Lady Bombers in straight sets. Anton Ross again, kasama si Coach Hammer, Martin Antonio. And with us is Coach Hammer's pick for player of the match. Walang iba, kundi si Winnie Bedanya. Winnie, congratulations on the first win. Kamusta Thank naman you. yung feeling na nakuha nyo yung first step patungo sa inyong goal na makuha ang kampiyonato? Happy po, syempre. Um, lalo ngayon po, kahit pa unti-unti, alam na po namin na may progress na po kami dun sa goal po namin this season. And speaking of progress, Winnie, ang ganda nung inilaro mo in this uh, ball game. Uh, may Rose Lapol will be consistent, Shai Umipon will be consistent. Ang tanong nga namin, pati kay Coach Sandy kanina, sino yung pang three kings? Three queens kayo eh. Yung pangatlong aatake, si Aldea sinasabi, ikaw din ang uh, aantabayan na namin. I mean, ano yung mga in-adjust mo throughout the off-season dahil mas pupuntahan ka na nga ng offense ngayon? Um, siguro po, more practice pa po talaga sa, ch sa chances po namin para po um, kahit makita nila yung mga previous games po namin, may mga bago pa akong may papakita. Mm -hmm. Winnie, kagabi nung pinag-aaralan ko yung game nyo, ito medyo nagulat ako dito. Ah. Ito yung listahan ng mga MVPs for last year, NCAC sa 98. Siyempre, nandyan si Mary Rose Dapol. Number 2, rookie lang ah, si Shai Umipon. Ito yung pangalan mo, number 15 sa MVP race. Alam mo ba yon na number 15 ka sa race to MVP last season? 
Hindi po. Wala po. No idea. No, so ngayon, idea now, 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 now you know, ano masasabi mo para sa akin, ikaw yung isa sa mga pinaka-underrated players dito sa NCAA Women's Volleyball? Um, medyo na-shock po. <laughs> na-shock po kasi wala po talaga kang idea. Kasi, um, hindi, actually, wala po ata akong MVP last season. Ngayon lang po yata. So, super shock. Wow. So, congratulations, oh, our first player first, uh, first, first, of the match. First, oh. You're so important to this team. Kanina nga si Ate Dea mo, uh, in-interview ni Hana, kausap namin. At uh, so graduating ka na ba? Um, hindi pa po. Hindi pa? Okay. okay. Hindi Kasi sin pa po. sinasabi ni Ate Dea na ngayon pa lang, sinasabi na niya na one more year, Winnie Bedanya. <laughs> Now, ang lalim yung point na Winnie niya. <laughs> Ikaw naman pre-nessure mo, Winnie. Para hindi ka naman pressure again. Babalikan natin yung game kanina. Magkita yung net defense niya. Tsaka may bago kang inad. Nakita mo rumaraning hit ka na din Opo. sa middle. Were you able to work on that throughout the off-season? Opo. Um, last season po, uh, um, mostly yung mga palo po, po talaga, mga nasa harap lang. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. nag-practice din po talaga dun sa likod po para po um, hindi po mabasa ng mga... Um, other teams. Manahirapan ka ba yung conversion mo? Galing yes, ka sa opposite po. ng middle na nahihirapan. Sa una po talaga ang hirap po. Lalo po sa blockings po. Hmm. Sobrang hirap po mag-adjust sa blockings. Kasi habol po dun sa kaliwa, habol sa kanan. Ano mas nakakapagod? Middle po. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie, sino ba yung pinaka-idol mo sa volleyball? Meron bang player na pinapattern mo yung game mo with this type of player? Um, sa ngayon po, kay Madayag po ako. Kay Madi. Apo. Oh, favorite ni Coach Hammer yes. yun. Madi Madayag. Oh. You're running attack ni Madi, no? Kung ma-perfect ma oh, oh, mo. Uh, Parehas may yun. length, tapos oh. may athleticism. Tapos coming from an opposite spiker mold. Ngayon, nagli-middle ka. Sabi mo nga lang, mas mahirap lumak. Pero ang oh. ganda ng blocking niya kanina. Mm -hmm. Tsaka yung floor defense sa mga kapi mo. Ano mas sabi mo dun sa bago niyong libero? Kasi uh, wala si Marian kanina. Oh, dahil importante na as a middle blocker, yung sumasalo ng mga palo na lulusot sa inyo. How was it working with a different libero this game? Um... Ngayon po, um, masasabi ko kay Jody, grabe po yung improvement niya kasi nga, yun nga po si dahil kay yung nangyari po kay Andal po. Um, super proud po ako sa kanya kasi nag nag step up po siya ngayon para i-support po yung team namin mm -hmm. this season. Para sa iyo Winnie last year kasi 8 and 1 kayo sa elimination round tapos na kaming lahat actually because uh, we feel that you guys could have done better against LPU in the step ladder semifinals. Ngayon na nakakuha na kayo ng experience doon, ano yung mababago kung sakaling dumating sa ganong klaseng sitwasyon ulit na do or die game sa step ladder, ano yung kailangan yung gawin para makaabante sa finals? Um, siguro po yung dadagdagan po namin yung eagerness namin kasi that time po parang medyo nag-relax po kami kasi medyo na-overwhelm sa mga nangyari po. So ayun, eagerness po namin manalo pumunta sa championship ko. Okay. One step away, no? Opo. And that is the wish of all of the Perpetualites hoping na, yun nga, umabante na sa finals at makuha muli yung kampionato. Okay. Winnie, pwede ka na, ano, bumati dito. I'm sure lahat ng mga friends mo, family mo, nakatutok ngayon. Opo. Um, binabati ko po sila, um, Sir Alta, Sir Anton, and yung Tamayo family. Pati rin po si Mom Marge. Uh, thank you po sa mga Um, suporta po and yung perpetual community po um, binabati ko din po yung family ko Bidanya family and Villana family pati din po yung extended family ko um, Sarmiento family and Santiago family um, sa duwa ko po si uh, Crystal and Angela kay Love and um, sa Marupox po hi Marupox? <laughs> <laughs> pwede niyo siya i-recruit ko po. Ah, kala ko i-recruit niyo ha. Medyo, pwede niyo i-recruit. <laughs> pwede niyo i-recruit si Anton. Ha? Pwede niyo shout out sa Marupox. Okay. <laughs> Punta natin ngayon si Hana. Thank you so much Anton and Coach Hammer. Medyo natamaan ako dun sa mga Marupox sa. Pero right now, I am here with the season 98 MVP Mary Rose Dalpo. So first of all, congratulations sa first win niyo. Yes, thank you po sa ano. Ayan. So, tinanong ko rin to kanina sa team captain nyo, uh, ano yung feeling na, syempre, first game nyo, first win agad? 
Sa, sa akin po yung feeling ko sobrang saya. Siyempre, nakakataas ng moral yung manalo ka ng first uh, game mo dito sa season 99. At siyempre, uh, dadaling, dadaling pa din namin yung ano namin, uh, con confident namin. Ayan, so nakakatulong talaga siyempre for an athlete yung mataas na moral na itutuloy mo yan across the season. Yes, so, yes. ito, na-mention ko nga kanina that you were the season 98 MVP. Coming into season 99, may pressure ba yun sa'yo? Uh, meron po, pero hindi ko, hindi ko lang pinapakita sa kanila na may pressure ako. Siyempre, uh, ako yung inaasahan din as uh, ate. Siyempre, ipapakita ko sa kanila kung ano yung... Uh, kung sino yung dapol na nakikita nila sa training. Mm -hmm. Yung walang kabay, yung masaya lang, relax lang na naglalaro. Kumbaga yung composed lang oh, talaga. Oh, yes. Yun po. Okay. Tapos ito, syempre nanalo kayo in today's game. Pero with every game, dapat merong learnings, meron pa rin struggle yan. Para yes. sa'yo, ano yung naging struggle mo for today's game? Or ano yung natutunan mo? Um, yung struggle namin kasi is pag nag-third set na, mm -hmm. is na ano, yang na, na tawag dito yang na, na ano <laughs> parang napapagod na ba kayo Hindi, or yang nagko nag ano kom ano <laughs> yung <laughs> yung kumpiyansa ba sa oh, sarili kumpiyansa sa sarili mm -hmm. parang ano na sila parang Wala, relax lang sila. Ganon. Mm. Pag third set, yun yung sakit namin as a team. Mm -mm. Parang bumababa yung kumpiyansa, ganyan. Parang yung struggle namin as a team, yeah. siguro yun yung i-ano namin, i-work namin as a team. Mm -hmm. Na kailangan first set hanggang third set, yung kumpiyansa, kumpiyansa namin is ano, dire-diretso. Tama. Ayun. So, ngayon, Mary Rose, uh, meron ka bang gustong batiin or pag uh, pasalamatan? Now's the time. Uh, pinapasalamatan ko po yung Perpetual Community sa pagsuporta po sa amin and also po yung family ko na nanonood po sa Lucena and Tamayo family po. Thank you po sa suporta. Ayan, thank you so much Mary Rose and once again congratulations po, sa inyo sa Lady Altas and now I'll be giving it back to you Anton and Coach Hammer. Dap, si Kuya Anton Rojas to. Uh, <laughs> Bagong presidente ng Marupokos. <laughs> Ito, hindi mo na siguro ito naaalala, pero nakita tayo sa... Nagsasalita mo. <laughs> ha? No follow-up questions daw. <laughs> no follow-up questions. <laughs> no follow-up questions. Next time ko yung follow-up questions. Oh, eh. may, may tanong sana oh. ako eh. Di ba, libaon mo na lang yan para sa next game uh, Okay, okay, next, next time. Uh, thank you, thank you very much to Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, I was gonna ask her kasi because I saw her by chance sa uh, TAF. I said, oh, dapat saan ka papunta? And then she said, papunta siya sa ensayo. So obviously, yung off-season niya, di ba? And, mm -hmm. and dami niyang nakalaban, oh, nila mga professional players. I wanted to ask her, like, which player challenged her the most or which player she learned from the most? Kasi malaking bagay yun. Now, you get to play with these experienced players in the off-season and you bring that experience here in the NCAA. Yes, totoo yan. And masasagot yung tanong mo in their next game. Yes. Babalikan natin si Mary Rose Dapol. Okay, let's take a look at the end game statistics. I'm sorry, partner. I'm sorry, oh, guys. Right. I, I got very excited. Oh, okay. very excited. Okay. Ito, Anton, okay. Plus 24 when it comes to attacks. Ang Lady Altas plus 2 when it comes to blocks. 3 more digs para sa Altas. 4 aces. 2 of those coming from Mary Rose Dapol. And 16 unforced errors ang ibinigay ng Perpetual Lady Altas. 20 naman ang ibinigay ng JRU Lady Bombers. A lot of things going for the Lady Bombers in this squad. Meron silang mga piyesa, but again, you have to be patient with a very young squad. The Lady Altas looking, looking really good and looking like the contender that we expect them to be. Yeah, all departments. Blocking, aces, and they even improved on their unforced errors mm -hmm. because in the first set, they had eight, so they were able to limit that to five in the second set. Ayan, so for and, and three in the final set, third set, so just a total of 16. So a very good improvement for the perpetual Lady Altas. Coming up next, nagbabalik ang ating paboritong in between show. Yeah, excited na rin to si Coach Hammer Martin. We, we, we have a lot of things to discuss because uh, we also have our Game On podcast. Yep, very excited. Na ang ating uh, Game On show. So we invite everybody 
to tune into that to of course engage us also mm -hmm. with all the things that we will be discussing but yeah we will be joining our brother Martin Javier in just a bit but uh, yun nga match day number one we're gonna head to match day number two on Tuesday and ito po ang inyong mapapanood sa GTV 2.30pm it will be Benice Ming Ming Puzon, our two-time best setter for the LPU Lady Pirates, taking on what I will say is also going to be a new look mm -hmm. San Beda Lady Red Spikers with new coach Edgar Baroga. So they, he will be debuting as the new coach of San Beda at the San Andres Sports Complex in Manila. So that does it for us, Coach Hammer, but we will be back shortly in a bit for Game On for Coach Hammer, Martin Antonio. Of course, our reporter Hannah Arguelles, our director, Greg Elman Salvahan, and all of us from GMA Synergy. I'm Anton Ross saying thank you so much for joining us. And do stick around because Game On is coming up next here in our live coverage of NCAA Season 99 Volleyball New Heroes of the Game. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Single, single. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasama ng Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lapang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify. Good afternoon, mga puso. We are back inside of Philo and Echo Center right here in San Juan City. This is the opening day of the NCAA Season 99 Volleyball Tournament. My name is Martin Javier. Of course, I'm working alongside to napakasipag po. Kakatapos sa mag-cover ng second game natin kanina. Going to game on right away, right after. One table to another. Of course, we have Mr. Pure Business and Ton Ross and Coach Hammer. 
Martin Antonio. Gentlemen, how are you? Brother, it's great to be back. I miss this. It's been more than two months since we've last had the opportunity mm -hmm. to cover the NCAA and be here back on the show. We've got a lot of plans for the first uh, portion of uh, this uh, year for with regards to the NCAA. It was just announced on social media, ang ating bagong Game On podcast. So that's one of the things that we will be talking about in this edition of the show. And of course, the matches that we just witnessed dito sa opening day ng NCAA Women's Volleyball at Men's Volleyball. Masaya tayo, lalong lalo na sa podcast natin kasi si, minsan si Coach Hammer yung bida yun sa mga yun topics yun natin. Yun 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 that uh, we're still here covering the NCAA. Volleyball naman yun, and we'll be having a new platform to talk about uh, a lot of sports, a lot of things under the sun. So we're really blessed. That's right. Uh, yes, we are really blessed. Just announced via the social media of GMA News, GMA Sports. We'll be, you know, hosting the newest podcast of GMA Network. It's called Game On. Of course, that's the extension of this particular show. So we'll have longer conversations there. We will have wider topics to talk about, wider subjects to talk about. We'll have guests, different athletes, not just NCAA athletes, not just basketball athletes, pero iba ibang sports po ang uh, ating i-guest or ating aabangan. Pero pag-usapan muna po natin yung mga naging laban ngayong araw na to. It has been an eventful opening day of women's volleyball, men's volleyball. Nakakaisang game pa lamang tayo. Nag-warm up yung second game natin between Perpetual and JRU. But we gotta go first to the men's division kung saan po bininyagan tayo ng isang five-setter. <laughs> Pipset agad. <laughs> Pipset to start the season. Uh, EAC defeating the Benio Blazers, taking care of business right there. They were a Final Four squad last season. So, antabayan na natin kung paano magbibuild up ulit itong EAC. Papasok. Dahil lagi silang kinakapasok. Kap kapos. Pagpapasok na ng finals. Pero, mm -hmm. nakakuha na yun isang championship dito sa NCAA. Antabayan na natin. I'm just so happy to see familiar faces nung pumasok sa court yung Perpetual Altas. Our favorite Nakita player. Agad, si Kurt the Train uh, Rosos nagparamdam agad and Coach Sandy Rieta was like, player ko yan, MVP, MVP yan. MVP junior. And, and he also said na harang siya ng bilyar eh. Oh. <laughs> Hindi basketball. <laughs> harang ng bilyar. <laughs> Akala natin, ano eh, basketball player sa haba ng shorts. Uh, pero bilyar pala. No, but seriousness, aside, uh, all jokes aside, uh, us being serious, he was a hell of a player in high school, and I think now he's going to get more minutes yep. in the seniors division. Because he is in way better shape. For this season, he si Kurt Rosos last uh, season. He gained uh, mas lumusog. Iga ni <laughs> Coach Sandy Dieta. But now, most of these guys are in the tip-top shape. Ang Perpetual Altas trying for another championship and looking like the team to beat in the men's division. Iba yung term mo dun eh. Mas lumaki yung kaha. Di ba yun yung kay... Lumapad. Lumapad. Oo, oh, di ba? Yun yung term ni Coach Hammer. But that's great news, especially for Perpetual fans. Again, they're gunning for another championship. I like the nickname, The Train. Yeah, may tarp pa yan. May tarp pa, The Train. Akala mo si Barbie San Andres lang yung may tarp? <laughs> Si Kurt Rosos may tarp din. <laughs> si Thomas the Train. <laughs> Thomas the Train eh. May picture tayo. At, at least uh, it uh, wasn't uh, the diesel. Oh, uh, ako okay, yun. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, but I mean, all jokes aside, sabi nga natin, we're just really glad that the NCAA volleyball season is in full swing right now on our first day. And two really good teams in the women's division debuted today yeah. looking like contenders. Okay, dagdag ko lang dun sa men's division before we let it go. Yung Benil Blazers, much improved this season. Ang pinanggit sa akin ni Coach Arnold last year, na late sila ng preparation dun sa men's division. Kaya last year, hindi pa masyadong peak yung team nila. They had a full off-season. Tapos lahat ng nagre-residency na players nila, nakapasok na ngayon kompleto sila. They challenged EACO. Again, is a perennial Final Four team here in the NCAA men's scene. All right. So, you mentioned already, Coach Hammer, in the women's division this time. First game. We co I cover this game with Miss Gaira Baroga. Na nandito tayo sa Phil Oil. Di ba? Sa Phil Oil tayo. Oh, nakita ko yung picture dun sa ano. Sa pader. Sabi ko, 
partner ko yung kanina, si Miss Gaira. Okay. Did a great job, by the way. But it was a Benil Lady Blazers who are, you know, gunning for the three-peat this year. Make, they want to make history for the school. They won over the EAC Lady Generals convincingly. At least first two sets, 25-15, 25-14. Third set, EAC was able to keep it close. Ultimately, the defending champs, they were just too much in this particular game. It's so crazy how this team has won 30 straight matches in NCAA Women's Volleyball. They have not lost since 2019. I asked Gaira um, when we were going to take over from you guys, who impressed her the most? Sabi niya, Mitch Gamit. And last year, it was a question mark. It was up in the air as to whether babalik pa si Mitch Gamit. But I'm so happy to see her here and shining for the Benil Lady Blazers who are trying to establish a dynasty. Sabi nga ni Coach Hammer kanina, two championships is not a dynasty yet. It's gotta be three. And that is the mission for Coach Jerry Yee here in Season 99. They have the demeanor. They have the preparation, they have the tools to get another sweep. But of course, itong mga kopunan in the women's tournament also prepared well for this season. Tsaka syempre, hope springs eternal pagkasimula ng uh, competition. So antabayan na natin sino pa yung mga bagong challengers para dyan sa corona ng Benil Blazers. You know what's scary in this match? Starting unit ng Benil Lady Blazers, they didn't have Jade Hentapa. She came off the bench here. Sila yung nagpalitan dito. Neto ni Gail Pascual. Binababad si Jade. Pinapalitan ni Gail. Tapos, ang nagahalin hinan. Micah Go was just, you know, used, I think, in the second set. Very sparingly in this match. There. How did she look though, brother? Okay naman. Trying to get into game speed. Oh, get used to game speed again. Pero, they're taking it slowly. I think they won't force Micah to produce right away, to contribute. What she used to contribute when she was MVP, I think they'll try to bring her along very slowly here. But that's what's scary here. I, we, we saw Willin Estoque earlier. We saw Jess Adorog, much improved. Those two, nakita natin yung defense last year. Diba? Lalong lalo floor defense, yung reception. Ngayong year, yung atake nila, mas pulido na. So, Mas lumalim ang rotation ngayon ni Coach Jerry. Well, yun naman talaga eh. Nakita natin throughout the offseason, nakapag-recruit din ang Benil Blazers. And last toward the latter part of Season 98, binigyan na ni Coach Jerry ng pagkakataon maglaro yung mas maraming players dun sa kanyang rotation. Kaya yung pagpasok, ito yung pinakamalakas nilang team eh. Hmm. I think ah. Wow. Dahil nagkaroon, nagkaroon na sila ng experience and may go coming back. Ang laking bagay nun with her being set into the fold. Kasi nagkaroon ng experience eh. Di ba sila, yung mga players nila dati, si Pascual lang inaasahan. Si Gamit had an off year last year, up and down yung kanyang nilalaro. So, if she impressed Gaira hmm. in uh, this uh, first game, they might be a stronger team this year compared to last season. Hammer, <laughs> dropping the bomb, I dropping know. the hammer I know. in you our know. very first you, you episode, to... declaring oh. that this edition might of the Benil Lady be. Blazers might be. is the strongest might ever. Be. Might be you, their you strongest. You said earlier, now no, you're might be saying their, might be. No, okay. might be their strongest okay, ever because okay. and dami nilang holdovers, tapos nagamit na nila yung mga holdovers nila. May experience na not only in the NCAA, but also in the semi-pro ranks. That's so right. malaking bagay yun. I don't know. For me, I think it was the MVP year of Micah Go. That was one. the first the strongest so far. But you know, like Martin said, they're bringing her back in slowly, and we might see, you know, a newer, wiser version of Micah Go later in the season. Oh, and that's what? what I'm praying for, also. Sa maganda makita pa naman nag-adapt yung laro niya after coming uh, off an injury. Siyempre, magkakaroon ng variation yung laro niya. Ano yung mga idadagdag niya para hindi niya kargahan masyado yung mga ginagawa niya previously. That's right. Ano pa yung mga facets ng game niya yung may, na improve niya throughout that prolonged off season. At siyempre, dapat alalahanin natin, you know, she had a full season last year watching from the sidelines, you know, as an assistant coach, lots of learnings there. Diba? Iba yung nakikita mo yung laro, nakikita mo kung saan kayo pwede mag-improve saan ka pwede mag-contribute when you come back to the court. Sabihin ko lang ha, yeah. yung una niya sinabi, yung pagkakasabi niya nung una. Might be, might in, be. In, in, pagkasabi niya una, in passing lang eh. Tapos nung sinabi ni Anton bigla na, oh, oh, oh. Naging ano na, convincing declaration. Oh, medyo may authority na. 
but uh, yeah, you, you, you got a good point. This they're, they're intact this year. Mm. They have a very deep lineup. So abangan nyo po yan. EAC Lady Generals, though. I think this team, okay, their strength is floor defense, uh, just like their men's team. Mm -hmm. Pero earlier they showed some fight, especially in that third set. Mas naging pulido na rin yung mga wingers sila, yung mga attackers sila. Even one middle, Jaja Villena contributed a lot. But they still need to polish a lot more to their game and maybe add more pieces for them to win some games. Pero, pero dahil dun sa floor defense nila, they will stay within range against the strongest teams in the yep. league. Meron, ever since someone may depend sa talaga sila eh. uh, Throughout the past few years, yan yung naging uh, trademark ng coaching staff ng EAC. Nabanggit mo Martin, both in the men's and the women's competition, they're really up there when it yep. comes to floor defense, digs and receptions. Ang laging tanong, saan man gagaling yung mga puntos? Sino ba yung ace attacker nila? Yep. Sino yung pupuntahan at pupuntahan ng kanilang opensa? I think as established, it's Kat Almazan at si Crisia Reyes. Pero kailangan pa nila ng tulong, kailangan pa nila ng suporta. Okay, now let's head to the second game which you guys came from and covered. By the way, I will make a sweeping declaration that this is my favorite volleyball panel duo. <laughs> why? <laughs> Antonic, why? Why not? Why not? You know? Bakit? Ayan. De, pero second game natin. <laughs> Perpetual and JRU, and it was a convincing win for the Perpetual Lady Altas. They want to avenge their disappointing, I would say, disappointing ending to season 98 because they were expecting to at least enter the finals last season. Yeah, natalo sila sa final four dun tayo sa step ladder against LPU. So, might be out for revenge this year. Etong Perpetual Lady Altas, yeah, it's unfinished business for Mary Rose Dapol and Coach Sandy Rieta and the gang because last year was one of their best seasons ever in terms of the elimination round. Eight and one, they only lost to Benil. So the expectation was they would dominate the stepladder semis and advance for a rematch, a showdown with the Benil Lady Blazers. But in the stepladder semifinals, they did not look like themselves, admittedly, Talking to Coach Sandy Rieta before the game, sabi niya, na-shock sila pagdating nila dito sa mas malaking venue. They were not ready for the moment and LPU was able to make their first finals ever. But this year, they have the experience, they have the momentum, mas matapang sila, and we saw it in this very first match. And given more time to prepare, that's one thing. At saka pinuno kasi nila yung Phil Oil Echo Oil Center nung naglaro sila in that step ladder. Natapat din sila dun sa LPU na nakakuha ng buwelo against Mapua. And then papasok, kalaban sila. Meron ng momentum. So malaking bagay yun. But again, the usual suspects are there for uh, the Lady Altas, Dapol, Omipon, and... Uh, Kanina, mas maganda yung pagsasets ni Sapin. So, marami silang nakuha ang mga magaganda plays. At napansin namin na yun, mas marami silang itinatakbong plays. Mas different uh, looks pagdating sa kanilang opensa. Mukha bang mas buo na sila this year? Would you say they're at the level of the Benilde Lady Blazers in terms of, you know, just being whole as a team? I would say they are deeper this mm. year. Kanina, last year's best libero did not play because she's injured she has uh, knee pains, so hindi siya nakapaglaro, although she was suited up. But the backup libero stepped up. And another player who I've been saying it throughout the coverage, very underrated, number 15 last year in the MVP race, Winnie Bedanya. Mm. If she and Razel Aldea, si Ate Dea, if they can elevate their game this year, I think they are going to give the Benil Lady Blazers a run for their money. Wow. Yeah, okay. I can. I will go as far as to say that if, if the middle blockers can elevate their game, I think they will be the key mm -hmm. to matching the level of the defending champions. She is so underrated, pati siya nagulat. Mm -hmm. Nakasama siya dun sa MVP conversation. Kasi binanggit kanina ni Anton dahil open notes kami kanina. Binanggit ni Anton that she was part of that MVP conversation at number 15. Tinanong ni Anton, Alam mo ba, na number 15 niya siya, hindi niya rin, hindi hindi niya rin daw alam. So at least, with her uh, breakout game, so to speak, first time niya naging best player of the game sa competition in the NCAA, might open a lot of eyes and even her confidence para makapagdagdag ng different facets sa kanilang laro. Okay. Last na lang. 
because I feel like the rebuild will continue for the JRU Lady Bombers. You know, a lot of young players in this team brought by Coach uh, Mia Joseco. Ano yung napansin nyo kanina? Who has potential of being the next Shola Alvarez? Meron bang nakikita ng potential? Makikita mo na they have that fight. They uh -huh. have that fight in them. Number 11, number 8, uh, their middle blocker, Batara, was uh, very competitive. Very competitive. Uh, Mag-isa lang siya na ma malaki doon in the front line, but she didn't back down. Kahit kay Dapol, um, they have two very impressive uh, liberos. Nandudun pa rin si Inday Laurente. So, merong mga piyesa. They have very athletic um, attackers, pero bata pa. Ah. Tama yung ginamit mo, Martin, eh. Para makakuha ka ng ganong talent, you need to, you, know, you need to give it time. Ah. Kailangan bigyan mo ng pagkakataon to improve. You need to let them grow into their game, so to speak. As I said earlier in the coverage, the crown is kind of up for grabs. I mean, by default, it's the team captain, May Ruiz. But it's hard to find a player in the mold of Ashola Alvarez and the Dolliver Sosa. Right now, in terms of the open spiker position, it's Hasareno who is getting most of the sets, but very far away from that level of a Versosa and an Alvarez. Queen Bomber level, I think um, it's going to be very hard to find for JRU. Yeah, and what's going to make it tougher for the Lady Bombers this season, Yung nag-hold sa kanila together last year, which is Sid Niegos. Of course, graduated already, wala na this season. So they will need to find that leader, that new leader on the court to bring them some wins right here in season 99. Okay, mga kapusa, dami na namin napag-usapan, di ba? That's just, you know, the games today. And of course, that's a glimpse of what you guys can expect in the podcast. Obviously, we have a wider uh, range of topics to talk about. Pero NCAA, siyempre, ang pag-uusapan natin dito sa ating show ngayon. Okay, pagpapatuloy po natin ang pagpapakilala uh, ba sa mga volleyball team captains natin. Ngayon, okay. Let's watch this. Breaks down the wall. Champions, the Benio Lady Blazers! Siyempre po yung team, uh, we prepare, like, siyempre, we want to be uh, physically conditioned and mentally prepared for this season. Lahat naman po ng teams is nag-prepare for this coming season, like us din po, na um, we really, like, we all want to be at the top naman. So, siyempre, um, wala akong, lahat naman po ng teams, siyempre. Right, din ng hard work. Oh, the back row. Augmento para sa EAC. Good dig by Alonia. So, pinagandaan po namin yung season na to. Um, Nag-focus kami more on skills namin. Siyempre sa training. Mas better kami sa than last season. Makikita nyo na mas, uh, mas pag-iigihan namin na mag-strive po more pataas. Kasi nga, um, nasa bottom kami. So, mas ipupush namin yung team namin pataas. And yes, they will. Oh, what keeps them going? Simply lang naman daw ang kanilang sagot at ito ang isa't isa. Lahat maaabangan, lalong lalo po yung mga rookies namin um, kasi malaki yung tiwala namin sa kanila. Sa lahat po ng mga sumusuporta sa amin, maraming maraming salamat po sa walang sawa ninyong suporta at pinapangako po namin na gagawin po namin yung best namin this season. We've seen one of the best uh, rookie classes of the uh for NCAA and uh, both of these teams have these prized rookies. May mga makikita kayong new faces that will really um, contribute to the team. The rookies especially of course, um, yung mga batang-bata namin na pero pag sumalang makikita mo na may pusong palaban talaga. Grabe yung power! Simula pa lang pero Napakalakas na getting one for uh, the Papua Lady Cardinals. Sobrang laking adjustment din po yung ginawa namin sa team. Um, since puro bata nga po yung team namin ngayon. So, mas, mas kailangan namin nag-double time sa effort namin. I'm proud to say na palaban po yung mga rookies namin this season. Alam namin na pag sinalang sila sa court, gagawin po nila yung best nila.
those are the team captains of NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball. We got very interesting team captains. Maraming nagpalit, maraming nagpasa ng uh, team captain responsibilities. I want to point out Beneath Lady Blazers because it's Jessa Dorog now who's the team captain leading her artists. <laughs> diba? On the, they have a lot. It's a loaded team. They have a lot of veterans. It's very interesting that a second year player, third year player, a second, third year player. Underclassmen. Oh, oh. underclassmen yung magiging kapitan nila. Yeah, that surprised me actually. I thought it was going to be Jade. I was basing it on the poster, the heroes poster. But yun nga, when I was given the list of captains, Jessa Dorog. Um, I'm not sure what the motive behind this was, but yeah, that's a huge responsibility being that you have to lead your ates and maybe Coach Jerry is looking towards the future. Yeah. I mean, you want to leave, uh, you want to somebody na pagka-graduate ng mga seniors would have that DNA, would have that culture of leadership para ma-sustain yung program. Okay. That's it lang before we go to our opening here. Ang ganda ng off-season natin. You know, a lot of news uh, in the off-season. Yung mga bagong coaches natin sa NCAA. Of course, implementing better programs. Kaya ka panapanabik, kaabang-abang talaga itong season 99. Daming players na kinuha at na-recruit. You know, priced blue chip recruits from the provinces as well. So, ano ba sasabi niyo doon? Because we have a few teams who really retooled and, you know, paid attention to their volleyball programs. So we have two new coaches, sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers, the dad of Gaira, yeah. Coach Edgar Baroga. So excited to see what type of impact and what type of system he will be implementing for San Beda. I don't know, maybe this guy here has some inside information. He probably has. <laughs> Which he will, once again, keep close to his chest. No, 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 no. <laughs> and of course, I am so happy for this man. I am so happy that we'll, we will be closely interacting and covering him again, Coach Oliver Almadro. A homecoming for Coach O. Letran ng kanyang alma mater, Mart. So for him to, well, he has a busy schedule still because he's also coaching the University of the Philippines. So now that he's coaching Letran, siempre ibang sense of pride yan mm. eh. You're mm. coaching your alma mater, and I'm just so happy that Coach Oliver has come home because naikita natin nanuno siya ng NCA volleyball. So for him to actually coach a team yeah. i'm so excited I, I i don't know what kind of you know system kasi alam natin yung uh, coach oh you know uh, the the energy that he instills to his players the discipline and focus i'm excited to see the coach o effect sa Letran lady knights okay so coach o yes will be debuting when when, when is he debut maybe tuesday or wednesday uh, this week po sa <laughs> season natin okay so, we mentioned earlier, it has been an eventful opening day of your women's volleyball tournament and the men's volleyball tournament. So, ito po yung mga nangyari sa ating opening day of Season 99 Volleyball. So, in our opening, of course, the NCAA Management Committee was present here, Dr. Lorenzo Lorenzo from EAC. And what's interesting here, siyempre nandiyan ang ating Chairman Sir Paul Supan, is that all of the teams were here. Boys, Girls Division, of course, Sir Oliver, Victor Amoroso, Senior Vice President of our GMA Network, Sir Hercules Calianta, present yung boys team, present yung girls team, men's team, women's team from all of the member schools. You know, it's so crazy how time flies. I, I fondly remember one of the NCAA volleyball openings that I hosted and Shola Alvarez was playing in her final year. Alam mo naman ako minsan, guys, ano ako eh, as a host, may mga impromptu akong ginagawa. Mm. Yung lalapitan ko bigla yung player. <laughs> and then I would ask a question and I remember <laughs> Shola Alvarez, the Queen Bomber, was so shocked that I was asking her a question on opening day. And that was the year that she became MVP. Siya. Ah, oh. 
So, I mean, Marts, today you hosted it. Uh, you had a front row seat to the new chapter for these athletes. For you, like, uh, what stood out? Well, I talked to Louis Ramirez, okay. but we won't be surprised if he ends up MVP again. So, uh, but what stood out for me was that, you know, everybody was here. What stands out for me is that guy with the shades over there. <laughs> In the venue. Oh, this is what stood out. Doc hey. Ian Laurel. Hey, our old friend, Doc Ian. Yeah, giving the inspirational speech. And of course, our guest speaker today or earlier, rather, in our opening ceremony. Of course, we had one big photo. Bibihira po to. Usually, it's just the collegiate teams. Marami ba? Marami silang naka-shades. Okay. Puso pala yun. Teka. Puso pala yun. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Sige na nga. Okay. But that's what happened in our uh, day number one of the competition opening ceremony of the NCAA Season 99 Volleyball Tournament. Very eventful. Before that, we had the men's game. After that, we had a couple of games in the women's division. But more to come. Dito po sa ating show, we still have a few VTRs and a few topics to talk about as well. All right, wakang alis. Magbabalik po ang Game On! Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222kg. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa... Welcome back to the show. You guys are still watching Game On, our very first episode in Season 99, Volleyball of the NCAA. But, okay. Pahinga muna tayo ng Volleyball Talk. Mamaya ulit. Mamaya ulit. Ngayon naman po, pag-usapan naman natin itong naganap na football tournament in the NCAA. The return of NCAA football. Let's check out some of the highlights. The Sanbere University Red Booters earned perhaps their most satisfying championship to date as they overcame the Benilde Strikers in the finals to win the NCAA Season 99 football tournament. After both teams went goalless in 90 minutes of play, Amir Aningalan found the back of the net in the third minute of added time. His breakthrough goal proved to be the winning moment that helped Sun better retain the title and extend their record to a league-best 25 football trophies. This was also the first time that the NCAA football tournament was held since 2019. Masaya pampakaramdam. Talaga naman pag nag-champion ka, kahit sino siguro, masaya pampakaramdam. And uh, mahabang panahon bago mag-champion ulit because of the lockdown. 
Benilde was actually poised to win the tournament after emerging as the top team in the first round of eliminations. However, San Beres showed the heart of a champion in their second round match, winning 1-0 courtesy of an Eldwin Escosoro goal in the 84th minute. Had Benilde won this match, they would have been outright champions. Instead, the Red Booters forced a deciding finals clash. Amir Aningalan was named MVP. Masarap sa pakiramdam kasi ilang taon namin ito pinaghandaan and <clears throat> halos lahat kami ng mga teammate ito, hindi kami umuwi ng probinsya namin. Nagsakripisyo kami para sa NCAA na Season 99. While Eldwin Escosora was awarded Best Defender, Christopher Pedimonte took home the Coach of the Year in Beda. Una po sa lahat, nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng pumuntaan, sumuporta, simula nung day one, um, yung community, sobrang grateful kami kasi first time kami naka-experience ng ganitong crowd and sobrang sobrang saya ng mga bata. While Kirk MNC was recognized as the Rookie of the Year, C, who scored six goals for San Beda, also won the Golden Boot. Rounding out the awards from the Mendiola-based squad was John Antonet Betanyo, who was hailed as the league's best goalkeeper. Jancy Blair Borja of Benil did not go home empty-handed though, as he won the award for best midfielder. Meanwhile, Mapua University, who finished fourth in the four-team field, won the Fair Play Award. Emilio Aguinaldo College closed the season as the second runner-up. And that, mga kapuso, was your NCAA Season 99 Football Recap. Congratulations to San Beda's football team na celebrate. May gumagano, no? Woo! Woo! Napanood yung finals match oh, ng hirap, Benil at San Beda. Ang hirap kasi nung pinagdaanan nila. Kasi yeah. we, ako personally, since I know the program, they've been uh, champions for the longest time. Time pa nila, Coach Aris Kaslib. And then si Coach Chris, he, they lost. The Red Booters lost in the first round. Won in the second round. Rubber match, extended time, and goal after the third minute. And all of the Bedan athletes were there. Pagka pinap pinapanood online, somebody was streaming from the alumni. Nakakatawa isipin kasi yung mga athletes from both squads mm. were supporting both of their teams. So okay. magandang, uh, magandang example yun. And it's, it's a test case para talaga sa mga atleta na student athletes supporting each other. Okay. During that video, I felt for the Benil players because as soon as the final second ticked off, you could see the emotions, they dropped to their knees because they knew that was a title that slipped away from their fingertips. Had they won that match in the elimination round, outright champion sila. But San Beda showing the heart of a champion. 25 championships in football is no joke. And shout out to everybody who went there from the Bedan side. Punung puno yung stadium. And shout out to the guy who was doing the live streaming as well. Yep. Uh, actually, that was sila dun sa, sa Bedan alumni community. Kasi it's a big deal, especially. It's not only basketball na pride and joy ng mga old school Bedans. Eh. It's the football competition. And uh, hats off to all the coaching staff and uh, for the Benil Blazers then for really having a chokehold on the regular season. Nagkataon lang umabot in extra time. Uh -huh. So congratulations again, San Beda 25th crown in football and a triumphant return of NCAA football as well. Ito yung excited kami kasi unti-unti na bumabalik yung mga sports natin, lalong-lalo na yung mga natigil during the pandemic. You know, this this gives hope to our athletes syempre na magpapatuloy yung mga karera nila. Hopefully more teams will be participating. A lot more uh, schools will be activating their programs, not only in football, in badminton, yeah. in uh, lawn tennis, clay tennis, yung mga iba pang events. And uh, Taekwondo, we saw it na pumipick up na ulit. And it's a hot tip sa ating mancom and all of those people that makes the competition possible. All right. So there you go. Some of the sports dito sa NCAA Season 99 so far. Nabagat ni Coach Hammer. Hindi pa natin pinapakita. Abangan niyo po yung feature ng lawn tennis din. Mm -hmm. I think we have a feature on that. Oh. Well, and table beach tennis. volleyball. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So do stay tuned to the show because we have a lot in store for you dito sa Game On. And speaking of Game On, Marts. Okay, so... <laughs> This is the inevitable. Just like Thanos in The Avengers. We gotta talk about the podcast. Again, I mentioned earlier, it was just announced on the social media accounts of GMA News, GMA Sports, Game On, The Podcast. Much awaited, yep. 
We, I think, started talking about this sometime in 2023. Finally, it's here and very exciting times for us, especially. And GMA, because there are sports-related podcast. Of course, that's going to be us. That's, the pressure is on us to make it substantial, to make it meaty, and to make it interesting for our listeners and viewers. But you guys could catch it very, very soon in different platforms. Google Pod, Apple Podcast, Spotify, YouTube, and Facebook ng GMA News and GMA Sports. So those are just some of the platforms that you guys could catch our podcast. Episode 1 is coming very, very soon. Okay, gentlemen, some expectations on <laughs> the podcast. We're having fun here on the show, but you just can't imagine how much more fun uh, we're going to have when we start on the podcast. Okay, coach. Uh, well, Anton. Here's the thing. Para sa atin tatlo kasi, 15 minutes is not enough. So, ngayon, mas mahaba na yung oras natin para makipagkwentuhan sa isa't isa and to also share our thoughts with all of the sports fans who tune in, not just sa NCAA, but in other sports as well. So, aside from the conversations that we will be having and the guests that we will be inviting on the show, we want to hear from you guys also. Please do slide into our DMs. Let us know who you want to, who you want us to guest. And if you have any questions as well, Coach Hammer is shaking his head. Okay. You're stop okay. acting like it's not a normal thing I, 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 because sliding is a very normal I, thing in this day and age, hold my on. friend. So I'm serious about hold that. Through. Please do throw in your questions now, and let us know. Marts, yes. L let me <laughs> chime in first. The way you said that felt like. You're an expert in sliding. Bago presidente ng Team Marupok. Okay. <laughs> by, by the way, this is not one of the topics <laughs> no, 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 that we're no, talking no, about no, 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 no. in the podcast. Uh, Yun nga, um, kung meron kayong gustong uh, <laughs> mga topics, saka topics mga, mga or guests, namin. Yes. please do namin let us know. And also yung mga questions na gusto uh -huh. nyong itanong True. sa inyong mga paboritong sports personalities, do feel free to throw him at us. No, exactly. Saka yung mga guests naman natin, it's not about them per se. It's about the topics that we would be discussing. Kung ano yung mga pressing concerns, yung mga things that are happening in and around sports. So, it's a little bit uh, on the deeper dive of things para ma-discuss ma pa natin at mas mahimay pa natin on a longer and a paano man natin, uh, in a different platform. That's right. Okay. Exciting po yan podcast. Di pa natin na-announce kung kailan magda-drop yung first episode natin, which is going to be an intro episode uh, of Game on the Podcast. So, abangan niyo po yan, mga kapuso. Again, do not forget to subscribe, follow our social media platforms, our social media accounts for some updates on the podcast. Pero ngayon, binanggit na natin different sports. Wait lang. Different sports uh, already done here in Season 99. One of them was the beach volleyball tournament which happened back in Subic earlier this year. So let's check out some of the highlights here. The NCAA Beach Volleyball Tournament returned to the Sandcourt Subic Bay Freeport Zone where old and new heroes rose to the occasion for Season 99. It was a success. I'm happy, I'm happy. It's a success in a way that we were able to bring back the high school division and we were thinking of putting a girls division next year. In the women's division, Colegio de San Juan de Letran successfully defended their title after beating San Beda University 21-16, 21-16 in the finals. The Lady Knights went unbeaten in the event, winning all of their 11 matches throughout the competition. Lara May Silva, who won the title alongside Chamberlain Cunada in Season 98, celebrated anew, this time with talented reinforcements, sisters Gia Marcel and Jogi Makila. Yung sabi lang po ni Coach sa akin, parang one game at a time lang po kami. Tsaka mag-enjoy lang po sa loob ng court. Tsaka wala pong pressure. Mula naman pong sekreto, siguro chinaga lang po namin every game. Tsaka tinrabaho po lahat-lahat ng game. Tinrabaho na lang po namin yung pagkakanalo po. Gia Marcel Makila took home three awards, namely Freshman of the Year, Rookie of the Year, and Most Valuable Player. Meanwhile, Letran's Michael Inoferio was named Coach of the Year. This was Letran's third overall women's beach volleyball title in league history. 
Over in the men's division, the University of Perpetual Health System Dalta also went back-to-back -back after repelling Mapua University in the championship match 21-19-21-13. The Altas once again unleashed the powerful tandem of Louis Ramirez and Jefferson Marapo as they overwhelmed the Cardinals' duo of St. Marlo Hamisola and RJ Ramos. In Season 98, Marapo took home the MVP trophy. This time around, it was Ramirez who was recognized as the most valuable player. Pressure po pero yun nga lumabas yung pagiging champion team namin ng kasama ko. Malakas yung pakiramdam namin na kaya-kaya namin mag-champion. Uh, Naibigyan namin yung dapat ikaw ng bawat isa. Na hindi namin inaasahan na lahat ng team sobrang prepared. Na. Para sa akin po nakaka-proud po na nanalo ulit kami dahil yun sa, yun sa akin po kasi last playing year ko na so yun uh, all out po kahit ano maya. Sobrang lang yung bagay po para sa akin. Maraming opportunity pero magiging wise mo na kung saan mapupunta. Perpetual's Maki Carino was named Coach of the Year, while James Harold Marasigan of the Benil Blazers was hailed as the Rookie of the Year. With their victory, the Perpetual Altas are now owners of four NCAA Men's Beach Volleyball Championships, trailing only Benil who has a league-best seven titles. The juniors division saw a finals match that went to a deciding third set as Emilio Aguinaldo College battled LPU. In the end, EAC's Alijan Abdian and Dwayne Iverson Alin Alin triumphed over LPU's Rodan Aguirre and Ace Van Roboel Blanco 21-17, 16-21, 15-10. Sobrang kaba ko po noon, lalo na nung medyo nadadown na po kami. Pero syempre, strategy pa rin po. Then, teamwork, enjoyment, communication lang din po. Pagkaya din po ng turo ng head coach sa amin, si Coach Rod. Malaking thank you po sa kanya dahil tinuro niya sa amin yung lahat ng skills na natutunan namin, lahat ng pagkakakamali namin na nagawa namin ng tama. First year ko po na makasali sa Manila, makatungtong dito. Sobrang overwhelmed po. Masaya din para sa team, para sa school. Alijan Abdian was named Rookie of the Year and Most Valuable Player, while Rod Palmero received his award for Coach of the Year after guiding EAC to a record fourth Juniors Beach Volleyball title, the most in NCAA history. I'm happy that not only one school dominated. There was a perpetual for the men's, that ran for the women, and uh, made a new team, Aya, for the boys. Thank you for all those who participated, who supported, those who lost. Better luck next time. The winners, congratulations. And that, mga kapuso, was your NCAA Season 99 Beach Volleyball Recap. Back to back for Letran and Perpetual. Congratulations for Perpetual in the men's division and the Letran Lady Knights in the women's division. Very competitive. Kakamiss eh, no? Kakamiss. Oh. So big. <laughs> Nung 98, nandun tayo for a week. But again, these uh, two, uh, two programs, talking about the Letran Lady Knights and the Perpetual Altas, took care of business. Na hopefully, they can bring that success, which uh, Perpetual did last season. Yung Lady uh, Knights uh, faced a lot of injuries, but... Of course, yan yung gusto nila, jumping off and the springboard going into the indoor volleyball season. Big shout out to Lara Mae Silva, back-to-back -back champion in beach volleyball this time with new partners. Last year, it was Chamberlain Cunada. So this year, nag si Lara Mae. And also, big shout out to Coach Michael Inoferio because we know he is stepping aside to give way to Coach Oliver Almadro who will now coach the indoor team of Letran. So, exciting times yep. for the Letran Lady Knights, Marts. Yeah. That's right. Oh, big thumbs up dun sa bucket hat ni Coach Rod Palmero. Doon ko lang na-realize, oh. no? Coach Rod is the face of, of EAC oh, Volleyball. volleyball. Men's, women's, beach volley to the ju pati juniors. Juniors. So, human's job. Okay. Dun sa lineup ng Letran Lady Knights, if you guys were able to catch the beach volleyball action, you saw a sneak peek of their newest piece in the TMC, Makilang. Yun yung pumalit kay Chak Cunyada. Siya rin po yung lumahok sa uh, beach volleyball team nila and will be making her debut in the uh, indoor scene very, very soon. Ang inaabangan ko dito, so last season we had a lot of clips of Coach Roger Gurayev. Quotable quotes. This season, ang inaabangan ko rin, dagdag natin Coach Oliver Almadro and his reactions, his quotes to the ladies, especially in tight games. I, I fondly remember one coverage I had. Kasama ko si Noreen Go. Noreen, if you're watching, miss you. 
Um, I said, yung mga huddle ni Coach Oliver Almadro, parang buffet. You get everything. Ah, yeah, though. Yeah. You get quotable quotes. You get sermon. You get, you get flowery words. Everything. History, strategy, completo yan. Basta si Coach O. Mm. So I'm so excited for him. And uh, lahat ng mga mahilig sa social media, be ready because you're gonna see a lot of Coach Oliver Almadro, mm. lalo na sa ating reels. That's right. Oh, Coach this Oliver. Guy should, should be getting into the real game as well. I know. Coach Oliver, former player. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Pero kaabang abang po yan. Ano, a few things uh, to look forward to in season 99 of your volleyball tournament. We got one more game in the men's division. Will happen in a few minutes. It's going to be perpetual versus JRU. Ladies and gentlemen, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtutok right here on the show. Coach Hammer, and our final few words before we say goodbye in the first episode of Game On this volleyball season. All I can say is the long wait is finally over. Day one, match day number one of NSA Volleyball is finally here. Great to be back and we are back in a big way because not only are we covering volleyball, we also have our <laughs> Game On podcast coming very soon. And of course, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all, all, our, all platforms that you listen your podcasts hmm. to, please, Wait for the first episode to drop. Okay, mga kapuso, maraming salamat sa inyong pagtutok, sa inyong paborito sports and entertainment show. This has been Game, Game On! on!